Right, here Welcome we are. Welcome to driver training. Today you'll be taken through the operation of a class 314 electric multiple unit in Scott Rail livery. Excellent. That'll be this thing here then. During this brief introduction, we'll go through the critical driving controls and passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard to get started. All right, I will. So, oh my God. Whoa, there's some, bloody hell, that's some, that is some lag. All right, we good? We good? I think, we, yeah, I think we're good. Sorry, we just went into bullet time for a moment there. Climb into the cab to get started. And, hey, Resi with the resub. Thank you, buddy. 28th month train. I know, right? Let's climb up into the cab. Take a seat in the driver's position. Oh, this will. is where you'll be spending most of your time. Okay. Well, as opposed to uh, in the toilets. It's possible. Right. Sit down. Close that door. To activate the control desk, insert the master key. Yes, that thing there. Click. Lovely. And because I've reconfigured my monitor, so I'm back on my keyboard and mouse, uh, there won't be quite as control, as much flapping around with controllers this time out. I do also have, it's a tea and train stream. We've got the trains, and I've got the tea. And it's good. It is good. Right, uh, set the reverse to neutral. I can do that. Uh, neutral. Uh, let's press and hold the auxiliary set button, that one. The PEP units. Yeah, this is from... The cool thing of, about this uh, train is that... Would anyone hate me for saying that I've stopped caring about most... <laughs> well, no, not hate you, but... Um, you know, understandable, there's a lot of... Th you can only have so much energy to care about things. So, <laughs> dismissing lots of things that you just don't have to care about... That's valid, to be fair. When do I plan on doing a thing with the cross-country HST? The thing that I haven't announced. And I wasn't planning to announce yet until I'd actually filmed it. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Soon. Next month, maybe. Uh, we'll see. I wanted to do it when the weather's still nice, kind of in the summer. But funds will have to uh, dictate that one. All right. Press and hold the raise pantograph. Close the the coop button. So where is it? Aha! That button there. You have to hold it. There we go. Set the headlights to headlights and marker lights. Where are they? Aha! Like that. The reverser determines the direction of travel. It does. So neutral forward. Uh, release, the, release the brakes. Two, one, release. This train is now ready to depart. Excellent. Use the throttle to apply power and get moving. I will. Like this. We're moving. Doing a, a slowish trundle. But we are moving. I think we can give it some more beans, shall we? How many steps of the throttle has it got? Four. There we go. More than enough, I think, for what we need. We only get, need to get up to 15 miles an hour. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance requirements. Oh, I'm already doing that. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin overspeeding, apply a small number of brake by moving the train brake. It's when you're not just speeding, you're overspeeding. We're now going to perform a test of the emergency braking system. Oh, the emergency broadcast system. Put the train brake into emergency. Uh, did you bear? Uh, with the, with the, no, that's the reverser. Uh, the, with the brakes. No, that one. Emergency. The emergency brake has been applied and the train will need to be recovered before continuing. Right. Good. Uh, set the throttle to off. Alright. No, that's the reverser again. No, that's the... Th there we go. Man. Set Great work. Now let's get moving again. All right, I will. I think that's Matt nice from uh, Dovetail Games. We can Gans. now continue the journey to Glasgow Central. Excellent. Stop at location, Glasgow Central. Glasgow Central. I'm not going to start murdering Scottish accents on the stream. I have friends in Glasgow. It's not just a case of them internet punching me. They could literally punch me. Especially one of my friends is actually a professional wrestler. So, Glasgow. Glasgow. Alright, let's do a trundle, shall we? Oh, we can get up to 50 miles an hour. Oh no, <laughs> and then immediately we can't. 
All of a sudden, that was a bad idea. You were there a few weeks ago. I nearly said uh, a few years ago. Oh, now we can go back up to 50. It's just going across the points. These people do lovely voiceovers. They do. They really do. Their tutorial voiceovers are on point. Hang on. Important test that we haven't learned how to do yet. Excellent. The horn is working. The horn is working well. Do 75 miles an hour? Heck yes. Oh. <laughs> 90 yards, 45 miles an hour. Oh. Uh, oops. I can't understand anyone west of Glasgow. I can't understand Glaswegians. Where does your understanding of Scottish accents stop? I have not been in Scotland since 2010. It's a lovely place, honestly. I, I, uh, in December 2019, I went up there for, well, I went to Inverness first and then sort of worked my way back down south via Glasgow and then popped over to Edinburgh and then back in England, I went, stayed in Newcastle and then paid a visit to York for that big shed with a load of old trains in it and uh, made my way home. It was a lovely 10 days or so, week and a half, maybe. Like week, week and a half. Yeah, it was lovely. And um, yeah, Glasgow was fantastic. Very, very busy, very intense. Very much like London in that I can never live in it, but I loved what I experienced of it. And of course, it has the Glasgow subway. It's adorable. It's little orange trains. It's the true circle line. It's an actual, just a circle under Glasgow. And it's just orange. <laughs> and it's orange. And it's called the Clockwork Orange because it goes around in circles and the things. It's lovely. Very cute. Very adorable. Um, they're due to get new trains soon, I think. And um, luckily, the new ones still look pretty cute. Not like the uh, the new Mersey Rail ones that are coming look quite intimidating. They look like kind of like cyber trains from like Half Life 2 or Cyberpunk 2077 or something. It's a circle bar the depot spur. So, what is that? So, if we're being You're really pedantic, Central. it's a cue. The train break to <laughs> it's actually a cue. And slow the train down. I need subtitles for Cockney. <laughs> Trundling along. What was I supposed to do there? Just stop in the platform, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, I was completely talking over you. What do you say? Oh, window. Lovely. Windows 98. Yes. Sounds all good to me. Now, what I was trying to say before is that these 314 units, class 314 units, are part of a family of uh, electric multiple units. They're all built around the same time in the late 1970s by British Rail. Um, ones I know quite well are just one step down from this, the 313s, which ran on the line that is actually at the center of everything and the center of the universe. The meaning of life and everything is the Northern City Line in North London. They used to operate exclusively on there with their knackered 15 to 20 year out of date paint, paint jobs. They were finally all scrapped a few years ago. I hope a few were, but one or two were saved. Um, and these are actually all gone as well. These are now, we are driving a train that does not exist anymore. And I don't think any of these were saved, which really sucks. It's kind of, oh, of course, yeah, the, the, there's a load of 313 still working down on the south coast. Southern, that's what, yeah, yeah. And one of them they put in the old BR blue gray livery, which is very cool. So, oh. oops. You need to, you need to apply a step two brake application. Can you tell I've been watching PTG Rail? Because I'm very excited that he's uploading again. Most relaxing train driver you will ever, know, you will ever hear. Got time for a sip of tea? Yes, I have. 314 was converted into a hydrogen unit and reclassified into class 614. That's right, yes. If Lando Norris was a train, he would be this train. How is that? Why so? Is he sort of cute? <laughs> He's just sort of cute and cheeky, just sort of there. Trundling along. Still trundling. To Glasgow Central. Start at the Bowness and Keneal Railway. Yes. Excellent. Now there's an experiment I'm looking forward to as well. But remember, children, the future is not just electric everything. This train doesn't operate in and out of Bristol, so no. <laughs> -doo -doo. And into Glasgow Central we go. Rather grand and lovely old station. I'm trying to remember the two Glasgow stations that are, exist. Is the other one Glasgow Queen Street? There's a Glasgow Buchanan Street, I think. 
Locked up in two smoking barrels had subtitles in the US. And there was that one scene of Austin Powers 3 where they speak English English. <laughs> you sound like me trying to read Shakespeare at school. That's more accurately. At least I, the thing is with Shakespeare, I could at least... Train, do you want to stop? Train, do you want to stop? There you go. You can in streets the subway. Yes, there used to be Take a... Take a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe before unlocking the doors. Yeah. They look fine to me. Hey, platforms. Are you, you good? Yeah, they're good. Okay. <laughs> to travel out of Glasgow Central, we'll have to change ends. Uh -huh. Let's do this now. Yeah, we're not going to drive in this end, are we? Set the headlights to tail lights. We do by that. Then reverser to what? No, no. <laughs> reverser to reverse. No. Fast key out. With this cab shut down, head to the other end of the train and bring Queen it. Street is lovely and open. Saint Enoch is also a subway station where there used to be a rail. Yes, you're right. Where's the place with the main headquarters of the subway? I'm trying to remember where it is. It's it's now. The original building is now just a coffee shop, and they preserved it when they redid the entire area and redid a lot of the um, the subway work in the 1970s, I think. And there's a great picture of, like, literally the entire high street is dug up and ripped up, and you can see down on the tracks, except for this one bit of track, like, one bit of, um, like, tarmac or concrete across with the, with the building still sat on it. It's just like, I'm now in Ireland. Help. Oh, it was St. Enoch. Okay. There's a sign that I haven't been there in a hot minute. And I need to go back. And I will be, uh, actually. In November, I'm going up there to see uh, one of my friends up there. We're going to see Franz Ferdinand, which is very cool. I've always wanted to see them. And um, the funny thing is, I'm traveling all the way to Glasgow rather than just seeing them when they play London on the same tour. But let's be honest. If you can see a band playing a hometown show, you know they're generally always going to kill it for a hometown show. So seeing Franz Ferdinand in a, playing their hometown in Glasgow, it's going to be fun. Scottish fans, so it'll all be good. It's like it's like Scottish anyone. Whenever the proclaimers show up, door. Yep. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at the uh, seating configuration. Very nice. I like the authentically Scottish accent for the uh, tannoy announcements in the station. And uh, and here we see Twitter. Uh, it must be a quiet day because it's not on fire. I don't care about Audible. <laughs> Why is it always Audible? It's almost like Twitch and Audible are owned by the same people. Look at these massive old buffers. Look at that. Look at these huge things. Look at that. I, I mean, they probably were built for like, like compressed in like that. Look awesome. Uh, let's have a mooch about. Some puddles down here. Aha! Yeah, I recognise this was. It was definitely Glasgow Central. I met one of my when I went to visit uh, what, my friends in Glasgow at that time. I met one of them here, so Queen Street was. No wait, is this? Wait a minute, I'm I'm confused. This is Glasgow Central. <laughs> Expected at one o'clock. Calling out nowhere. Okay, good. Are you aware that you are actually waiting for a, a ghost train? There's also a station in the subway that has an entrance next to a subway sandwich. That's right! That's oh, which one is that? I know the one you're talking about. Says the man who literally did an entire video on it. Um, Kelvin Hall. That's right. That's it. So there's Kelvin Hall, and isn't that Kelvin Bridge? You want to hear a funny story? Hell yeah, I do. Aha! Uh -huh. And over here would be the entrance to the subway, I believe. If, if we could get to it. Past. Would curse you! I got defeated! By the power of invisible walls. I remember seeing a really lovely picture of the original interior of this station. With the original, like, wraparound structure there. Which had all the old, like... That's the toilets and an exit. Oh, that's just an exit. Okay. Mainly lurking, but I wanted to say hi. Hello, Sudoku nerd. Hi. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, to do to do aha yes i thought so so one th that's glasgow central low level yes you're right the tracks that go underneath this you're right i did not check those out last time i was there that's gonna be a new experience for me uh if those platforms are featured on this route which i feel like they are 
So, where are we at? The subway is over at St. Enoch. It's right it's around the corner. Yes, it's out on the high street. You're right, it is. It's coming back to me now. It's been a long three years since I was there. The longest three years of everybody's lives. So, Glasgow Central there, Pollock Shields West, Pollock Shields East. Chris. Here's the entire route, basically. So, heading out, Muir End, William Wood, White Craigs, Patterson, Neilston. Now, a lot of this, I didn't actually ride on, because when I was in Glasgow, I mostly rode just the subway. So, a lot of this is going to be new to me. Almost all of this, actually. So, it's going to be an interesting one. Anyway, where's our train? Matt's just been sitting around in the tutorial, just being like, yep, he'll, he'll stop fanning around in a minute. They're not featured. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. It'd be good to see them in as part of an expanded run. Do -do -do. Dumbarton Central to Motherwell, Edinburgh, Larkle trains on the on the low level. Yes, there you go. Yeah, I've actually got a book uh, called The Railways of Glasgow. It's like a history of all the, the railways in Glasgow from like the 50s through to the present. Very interesting. I remember reading it on my train from Glasgow to Edinburgh. And... Um, it will not. It will surprise none of you to know that I got that book along with a book about the Glasgow subway in the museum, in the Glasgow Museum of Transport. So, Women's Bay, that's right. The shop my mother gets electric from put double on by mistake and only charged her for one payment. So we have over £120 on the... <laughs> you know what, Hitch? You might want to keep that one quiet. <laughs> with energy prices the way they are, that's an absolute steal. <laughs> Good on you, though. Good on you. Don't begrudge anyone getting some uh, some free energy at this point. Mm. Question, by the way, would any of the um, inter seven city HSTs run out of the um, run out of here? Or is they are are, are, they, are they just at Queen Street? No, okay. I'm in for AJ to go and see. Oh yes. Right. Anyway, enough faffing around. Um, the master key. Yes, Master Bait, there we go. And then the headlights are Mark, Mark headlights. Reverser to the... Uh, oh, kind of feels bad for it. Now we've changed Honestly, ends, where we are right now, passenger boarding, set the take what you can get. Unlocked. Take what you can get. It's not like you're a Tory and you could blatantly afford it anyway, but you just decide to put it on expenses because you're a... Um, Into seven cities at Queen Street. It also took me far too long to work out, by the way. Master what? Master Bates. Yeah. Have you not heard of him? <laughs> um, and then... Yep, there we go. Proceed to the next stop at Pollock Shields West, unguided this time, and see how you get on. Oh, no. How will I know what I'm doing? Drive. Power! That's nice. I don't remember this being a thing in previous routes. Actual echo on the sounds in the train shed. So hang on, when we get out here. Nice. Very good. Then we get outside and. Yes. Nice. That's, that's detail. I like that. That's good. It's like when they properly fixed up having the windows when you open like that and then the window slides down like that, the sound changes and you actually hear more of the outside sounds in the cab. If you want to speak about the Republican Party in the United States, all you need to do is hold down the bleep button for about a minute. Just describe them as a bunch of <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, that's the uh, River Clyde. River Clyde, I think. Down there. Someone in my house who lost name was Master Bait. Oh no, no, surely. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Seriously, no, there's no. Oh, no, oh god. You seriously had someone in your school whose surname was Master Bait. But. I can't. I feel sorry. I feel, I feel sorry. I, I feel so sorry for that. <laughs> oh my god! It's a guarantee they got bullied. Kids get bullied at secondary school anyway. Like, 
because teenagers are little shits. <laughs> Let alone when you've got a name that just invites that kind of bullying. It was actually Master. Oh no! Oh, you, you'd just lie, wouldn't you? You just you just put another name down. You like um ah so is it um do we have a David Masturbate in the class today? No 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 it's uh, it's 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 David Smith sir. No but it says here that, no 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 it, we we changed our name yeah it's, it's David Smith. <laughs> I've taken my uh, grand grandfather's uh, surname. <laughs> you you would wouldn't you? You just would. It's like I've been watching a lot of old Top Gear recently, just on my runs. You know, something's nice and familiar. You can sit down and watch it. It's why Dave play it on repeat all the time. And I got to the episodes where they... Um, well, the first one was the uh, used BMW convertibles, where they took them to that, like, CSI forensics lab. And then they also did that when they did the used cars for cheaper than uh, a Nissan Pixo. They went to the same place, which was um, Dr. Manlove. And the guy comes up in the first one. It's like, "Hello, my name's John Manlove," and they're just like, "Can we, can we just stick to John? Otherwise, we're, we're just going to start laughing." <laughs> and even John Manlove's just like, he kind of like he just laughs, like, "Yeah, yeah, I, I, fair enough. Yeah, I get it. Look." And I am the one with the odd last name as well. Not rude, just odd. Look, it, you know, people have odd. Like I said, at school especially, people are people are dicks. That's, that's not swear. People are dicks. There you go. Um, I'm, just, I'm just so trigger happy now. I'm like auto mod. I'm just like, no, I'm going to to this for f***ing. Wait, wh why, why can I not say <laughs> right, Anyway, we are climbing out Glasgow Central. Honking. Ah, oh, yes, bullying. It was 1994. A guy named OJ was running from the cops in a white Ford Bronco and a certain animated show with yellow people was a huge, huge hit, which led to my last name of Simpson putting a target on me for the entire... Oh, dear. Oh... Someone in my school had the last name Doncaster. Nice. It wasn't Jeremy Clarkson's. <laughs> it wasn't Jer <laughs> one of Jeremy Clarkson's kids, was it? <laughs> oh, we got to stop here. This is Pollock Shields West. Pollock Shields. Uh, oh no, that's just the signal. We got to stop at. Is that stop? Oh, it's just around the corner then. What station is that? Pollock Shields East. Okay. Yeah, no, I can relate to the unfortunate timing of surnames, certainly. The entire unfortunate timing of names in that I share a full name with a former England football player. And for a long time, whenever he appeared playing for England, it was like, ha-ha, the funny joke. People would be like, hey, Joe, you playing playing for England tonight? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm playing on the uh, left-hand side. It's just a big good game, you know? Oh, you scored last night for Sunderland. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then that player got arrested and, and charged with um, underage sex offences. And suddenly, having the same name as him stopped being funny very quickly. It started being very unfunny. It started being very unfunny the moment Football Twitter found anyone with the name vaguely similar to him and just spammed their DMs full of nonce messages. Um... Also, is it just me or are the brakes are a bit cack on these things? They're not very good. I was only slowing down from 25 and I've missed the platform. Just select a door opening. Don't, don't get out of that. Don't get out of that door. Sir, you've got the right idea. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. Good. Can I go now? <laughs> brakes made of cheese. I actually feel bad for people ha who have names that are the same as bad people. Yeah. It can't be much fun, honestly. That's about right. Yeah, I'm just checking my position of my face cam. I noticed as soon as I lean forward, I can just be like, I'm not even on screen anymore. Like that. There we go. Uh, yeah, gold medal for the tutorial. Let's do that. So, main menu. Turns out I have the same name as the former head of the MTA, which was noted when I was interviewed there. Oh, nice. Well, depends. Was, that, was this person a dick? Um... So, we know how to drive the class 314. Oh, that's just a general route introduction. Oh, we may as well do that as well. Jay Trump got hateful stuff said about him all because he was at that last name. <laughs> God. I did wonder how Judd Trump, world champion snooker player, 
Must have thought about that. Welcome to Train Sim World 2, Good. an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. Good, glad we've established that. Yes. You've just been awarded some action points. Excellent. These points. are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and Press count e for towards action your points. overall experience. Uh, um, uh -huh. It isn't. Yes. 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 Uh, no. Uh, yes. Oh, this was the tutorial we're supposed to do all the stuff. Oh, I see, right. This is one of many interactives to be discovered, but not all of them will be as easy to find as this one. Not all of them will be as easy as this one. And all AJ does is the UK route. I stick to the UK because it's mostly what I know. Sometimes I'll do some of the overseas ones, but I'm just like, I have no idea what is what is trains. What is, what is the concept of railways? Um, out the way. Sorry. Excuse me. Out the way. Oh, I, thought, I saw that and I'm like, why are there EWS branded newspaper things? Oh, news. Presumably. Yep, there we go. I thought, yes, I thought so. Some newspapers. Oh, it's like an underpass thing down here. Oh, no. no, it's probably a toilet or something. Or maybe the low level platforms. Glasgow Central. Bing, there we go, and then open the staff door and enter cab. Oops. A lot of time will be spent operating trains, so when ready, sit in the driver's seat. Okay. I thought we already did this. <laughs> you can pause the experience at any point and review. In the early days of rail, it was used to transporting things. Check yeah. it out now and then return to the game when ready. Uh, what? Oh yeah. Uh, task thing. Where's that? Yeah, that. I did that. Uh, yeah, schedule. Message. Massage log. A log of massages. A heads-up display has uh -huh. appeared on the right-hand side of the screen. Yes. This is a guide to what the train is doing. I'll be honest. I, I would rather. I'd rather hope that this was me trundling around speed as a passenger on the one of these trains. The white needle shows current speed, and the red marker indicates the maximum permitted speed. Yes. Press E for erection. I mean, this is the direction display. Yes. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. Yes. This is the power display. Power. A number will indicate what position the power, power control is in. These are the brake indicators. Not power. They show the state of the various brake systems, allowing independent management of them. Yes. In the <laughs> in the mash, some of these displays can be hidden via the settings menu for a more challenging experience. Good. Danger! The track head is occupied. Oh. Well, I can't. Why? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was turning like, with the... wait a minute. What? <laughs> I tried pressing to decelerate, and it, the, the controls were still locked in the Glasgow tutorial. Glasgow Central is one of the major railway termini in Scotland, Terminate. servicing commuter trains running around the Cathcart Circle line and connecting the surrounding areas of Neilston and Newton. Yes. Very good. I've, we've literally just done this. <laughs> we've literally just, no. This particular train is a Class 314 electric multiple unit and consists of a pair of three-car units. It's capable of, of travelling I mean, at a yes. top speed of 70 miles per hour. Excellent. It's good, yeah. Hang on. Well, what the? Are these screenshots taking? Train Sim World 2 allows you to ride uh -huh. and drive from a selection of camera views. Let's take a look now while exploring this train. I'm trying to remember which one is the like dovetail game screenshot thing. Oh, I was already doing that. Uh, mouse and arrow. Uh, this is drone cam. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. Uh, into the skies above. Running around. 
There's a lot of tracks up here, isn't there? 13. Yeah. Press 1 to return to an internal camera. Okay. Like this. You've only explored a small area here, so let's take a small. look at what else there is to enjoy. An SM orbit. Welcome to Glasgow, Scotland's largest city with a rich history of shipbuilding, manufacturing, art and culture. And here you violence. can experience the hustle and bustle of a modern suburban network using classic electric traction which links Glasgow's suburbs with the historic Glasgow Central Hub. Excellent. Along the way be sure to apply tourist posters, yes. refill newspaper stands, yep. place route maps and refill planters. Oh, look at Ferry that. commuters around the it's busy circle port line port and to trends. and from Newton and Neilston. Very cute. Welcome to the Cathcart Circle Line. Deep fried pizza. Way. <laughs> no, it's tradition. It's Glasgow way, you know. So, yeah, all right, then go back to main menu. This is rather nice. Like miss being in Cornwall, which I do most of the time. Deep fried Mars bars. <laughs> Deep fried anything. That's the lesson you must take away from Glasgow. <laughs> the first lesson you must learn about Glaswegians. Number one, they will deep fry anything. Deep fried cornflakes? Yes, probably. <laughs> deep fried sandwiches? Absolutely. D deep fried kebab. <laughs> right, anyway, uh, uh, where are we at? So, Tim Tabble. Ooh. Okay, so we've got, well, we've got a 66. We've got 47. We've got the Class 37 from, well, either the West Cornwall route or the uh, Tees Valley route, I suspect. Is that for some sort of rail tour? Yes, that's for a rail tour. Deep fried soup. <laughs> 31, I assume that's a rail tour thing again. Yes. Okay, well, we can do that. The 66. Engineering works. Okay, so we've got an engineering works service for the 66. Class 20, that'll be a rail tour thing again as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's... Okay. Alright. Now the 47.4. That would be rail... Yeah. That would be quite cool if you could simulate the 1980s run that would have deep fried Scottish Norns party that was... Was it? <laughs> Jesus. I don't know the context and I don't think I want to. Anyway, let's stick to the 314s for now. Uh, it's July, it's, uh, a bit cloudy today, and a bit, and a bit windy, so, <laughs> and a bit windy, not raining, not at the moment anyway, but it is in Glasgow, well, I don't know, it might not be, uh, so, what have we got, let's start off with our traditional early, early morning runs, Glasgow Central to Neilston, Glasgow Central to Newton, Glasgow Central to Glasgow Central, hmm, okay, Glasgow Central to Neilston. So, yeah, you've got this kind of... You've got the runs out to Neilston, or the runs out to Newton. So, the run to Neilston heads sort of south and then west. And Newton heads kind of south and then east. Southeast, no. So, and then there's that. Oh, Newton to Glasgow via Pollock Shields West. Ooh, fancy. Fancy. It's quite intriguing. Okay. So... Do you know what? Let's do... Where's the first Glasgow Central to Glasgow Central run? Yes, let's do that. 6.15 in the morning. Yes, let's do it. The best kind of summer. I will be honest. The breeze the last week or so has been rather lovely. It's been nice. I think we all could do with it. Right, it's commuter service from Glasgow Central to Glasgow Central, counterclockwise. Uh, excuse me. Uh, unlock the doors. But I don't think it will do that yet, because we haven't done this. Or this. There we go. Now it's open. Now they've opened. So, <laughs> Glasgow Central. Glasgow Central is on the destination marker, and that's actually correct. Because we're just heading out to pick up some people and then bring them back here. <laughs> it's like going to pick up your mates. Coming for a night of, video night of playing video games. Headlights. Oop. Headlights and marker lights. Pan up. I assume they're already up. Yeah, there you go. The pantograph. <laughs> the pantygraphs. <laughs> DRA, normal, good. Uh, window, yes. 
I'm going to need a Bristol route for TSW real soon, DTG. That's, I mean, all aboard the Dario Frank. <laughs> Is he from Glasgow? Dario Frank Eddie, Scott, one of Scotland's favourite sons. Preferably with the class 143. Heck, why do you why do you want to inflict pain on yourself? They want to get people to play this game. They don't want to put people off it. Hey, look at this brand new route for Trains from World 2. It's going to be great. You can drive a bus that someone put on a railway line. Yeah, it's 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 torture. Engine sound. The fair. Fair, there is that. The grumblings. Actually, you are a bus enthusiast, so yes. Railway-based buses. Yep, yeah, no, I can understand that. Um I need a New York subway route for trains. We've we've all got our wish list. We've all got our wish list. It's definitely one of those things I've talked about this before where it's it's easy to forget that it they're not like triple triple A. Developers working on these games. Oh, look at that though. That's a nice view. Okay, get a get a cheeky little uh, screenshot there. Go 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 go. And six seventeen, which is right about now. So in a minute, I'm gonna need a sentimental sentimental woman to pump me up. Feeling fussy. Shake it in my Balenciagas. <laughs> Something on the fabulous. I don't give a f way too much. I'm going to need like two shots in the unit. <laughs> two shots in the cab. Right. Stop location. Pollock Shields West Platform 2. Let's go. 1.6 miles. Let's do it to it. Aha. Uh -huh. Might need to do that. And then. Wakey, wakey, mofos. <laughs> we out here. Is West Lothian near Glo... Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted there. Ah, it's a, a signal gantry. There you go. Right, we out of here. 28 miles east. Yeah, you're right. Lothian's kind of on the run between Edinburgh and Glasgow. Edinburgh's the one on the right, the eastern one. Glasgow's to the west of that. As usual, I've gone for the three-drink setup for this one. Because uh, tell me you're neurodivergent, etc. I've had me a cup of tea already. I've finished that. I have a can of beer piss. And I've got a bottle of water. So let's head out. Let's head out into Glasgow. I must say, I do like the Scott Rail livery. It is rather nice. I mean, the fact that it represents a nationalised railway company probably helps, you know. Because, you know, why on earth would you want to run your railways nationalised as a public service when you could just sell them off to other companies and let them profit off your country's railway systems. And in particular, let those companies send those profits back to the nationalised railways of other countries. Because yes, apparently, we can't afford to nationalise our own railways. But what we can do is, that is help nationalise the French, German, Dutch, Italian, Spanish and Japanese railways. And Swiss. Yeah, anyway. Everything looks anything looks good in the Scott Railway. I would agree. When they ran that um Oh, it was Edim was it Edinburgh, Fife Circle? They ran that class sixty eight short set. You know I love the class sixty eights anyway. They look good in Scott Rail. I think it's that kind of mix of like blue grey with the yellow. It's kinda of got that BR nostalgia to it. But it's just a nice shade of blue. It kind of looks like they're wearing like the Scotland International rugby team kit or something. It has that kind of vibe to it, and the crosses, the salt tires. You know, it's good, you know. And Chinese, yes. Yep. So, yes, Dario is in Glasgow. There you go. Another reason to love Glasgow. I still need a Scotland rugby shirt, don't we all? Specifically Hong Kong. Yes, you're right. Although friend of mine that works for TFL did explain to me that that's a it's not a franchise because they're technically operating the Elizabeth line but it's not a franchise it's a lease thing so they don't make anywhere near as much profit off it profit off it but even so still for fuck's sake sorry for fuck's sake <laughs> you f***ing greedy f***ers alright Pollock Shields, still got about a mile to go, and we're trundling along. 
full on one franchise is going to end up run by Amtrak. I'm surprised it isn't already. Well, wait a minute. Don't they operate on the east coast of the US? LNER Amtrak East Coast. Amtrak trains East Coast. It's going to happen. Now we're on level ground. Run out of... Uh, we are right in golden hour on a summer morning. To be honest, I've really enjoyed actually waking up and getting up around six, half 6 a.m. recently. It's beautiful. You get all the lovely... The sun rising. It's nice. It's not boiling hot yet. And no one else has got up yet. And I'm like, yes, I like this. I'm, you know, I, li I like enjoying the sunshine and a nice, chill summer's morning without other people around. As soon as other people start waking up, I'm like, oh, I just want to go back to bed now. Trundling along. Praise for them to take over GW. <laughs> Phase 7 is a sick livery. Oh, is that the Amtrak livery? Oh, here we go. We're coming up on the Pollock Shields West. <clears throat> what livery was it that they ran in one of their brand new Epic Diesel locos? It's the one you you got and you ran it around your Christmas tree. Which I, I love the fact that that's an actual tradition in the US. Given that we got like a toy train set to run around the Christmas tree here. As a joke for my dad and me who are both train nerds. Have you seen the proposed Phase 7 coach livery? It looks like VR Blue Grey. I have not. Good styling inspiration to take from. Right, bearing in mind the brakes on these things are made of cheese. Let's dial off the throttle. Let's coast in. Look at that sun rising. Then we trundle in. Put the brake on a bit. And just coast in. There's no need to panic. Now there's a need to panic slightly. Slight levels of panic now. Are we still going to... I mean, we, ch we we almost overshot that. Almost. It, these brakes really are a bit rubbish, if we're honest. By the way, welcome to Pollock Shields West. And, yeah, there it is. Including the Celtic, Gaelic translation. Pollock Shields West. Pollock Shields and Iar. Maybe. Passengers must not cross this line. Well, I'm not a passenger. I'm a driver, mofo. But yeah, if you're a passenger, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Running. Oh, it's a flower. Look at the flowers. Look at the flowers. It's a flower in the train. Look at that. That's so adorable. That's lovely. Right, anyway. Oh, that was the day one livery. It's been applied to two locomotives. The first locomotive 50th anniversary loco. That's right. Was the 50th anniversary loco a relatively new loco? There was one new diesel that I think had been introduced and it looked sexual. Alright. Onwards. Eventually. There we go. Maxwell Park Platform 2. Let's go. Let's go get it. Let's wake up the commuters. <sighs> Sit down with the coffee on the way to work. <laughs> fling their Starbucks in, in their faces. I'm not shocked that this has not been burnt or knocked down. <laughs> Amtrak between DC and NYC. The other part of me wants to take the coach. The dilemmas of being both a train and a bus nerd. It's like me and all those old Top Gear challenges. I'm like, I really like cars. Jeremy Clarkson insults trains. No, fuck you, I like trains. you, I like trains. Oh, God. Yeah, you know that whole 40 mile an hour thing? Yeah, the, the next station's like here. We've accelerated up to 40 miles an hour. Are we now going to be able to stop again in time? I think we will, actually. I think because I panicked. I was just like, panic! Yes. Yes. There we go. Oh, this is a cute little station. It's a very cute little station. Look at this. There you go. Nice and gentle on the brakes. There you go. Here you go. Uh, let's have a quick look around, shall we? Open the door. Aha! The map! I have one of those. Schlorup. There you go. Maxwell Park, or Pirate Maxwell. Very simple. 
Hey, look at this. That's a, this is a cute little station. Always try to carry a bottle of water with you. Yes. If you feel faint, seek help at the next station. I, I agree. Do not use the emergency cord, as this may delay help reaching you. It's good advice. Good advice, you know. Stay hyd- <laughs> Basically, the station announced was like, stay hydrated. Yes, I agree. Yeah, seller serves Dunkin' Donuts as a premium- br I'm out here for it. Oh, it's stage go ever so little is getting rid of the blue on their buses. Oh, really? Yes, Zoe, loud and clear. <laughs> That's our actual name now. We don't make the rules. Oops. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Right, we're good. Shawlands Platform 2. Barely half a mile away. Where we go? No complaints about the acceleration. That's pretty good. Get up to 35 miles an hour. Get up to 35 miles an hour. Get up to 35 miles an hour. And there we go. So he's the only Scottish person I know. Oh, of course, Zoe from the same Zoe I've been talking about. The yes, of course you know Zoe from Motorsport 101. Yes, she's the person I'm going to see Franz Ferdinand with. Actually, a thoroughly lovely individual, a fantastic tour guide. She was the one who insisted I drunkenly have deep fried pizza. She was like, "You're on a night out in Glasgow. You have to have deep fried pizza." I was like, "Do, do I?" She even took photos of me buying it to, to sort of like cement the occasion. I was like, guys, it's happening. Right, onwards into Shawlands Platform 2. I like this little station with just a central island platform. Mario Andretti's biggest UK fan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's always lovely. Shout out. Ow, oh, arse. That's a point. I was actually going to tag um, a TikTok <coughs> person from Glasgow in a, in a post about how I'm streaming riding trains in their city. Oh, look at that. We can go all the way down here. Nice. And put up down here? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> Hammond. You know what that is, don't you? It's a road! Um. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I know Hardfire reuniting, but... Uh, <laughs> man, I was... Uh, given so, uh, how much I loved Hardfire growing up, and I didn't get a chance to see them before they broke up back in the day, Only the, uh, I heard some hints about them coming back, and then the only the other day I was like, yeah, they announced a reunion show, and it sold out in minutes. I was like, oh! <laughs> Baloney Burgers, why did I miss that? <coughs> but fortunately, I have said they're probably going to add some more dates at some point, so they'll do it proper. It won't just be a one-off, hopefully. It should be good. As like I say, I bloody loved Hard Fire back in the day. They were part of that sort of UK indie rock explosion that came up in around 2005, where it was indie rock. It actually had some rock to it. Like Franz Ferdinand were in that, Block Party, uh, I think Editors, uh, Hard Fire. We kind of got some American bands who kind of didn't really... America didn't really know what to do with a couple of the American bands. So we kind of absolved them in. The Killers were the most prime example. The Strokes kind of got picked up in that as well. Um, trying to think of some other British bands at that time. Yeah, uh, Arctic Monkeys. Early Arctic Monkeys, they were definitely a part of it. <coughs> before they decided they were, like, ultimate American hipsters or something. Yeah, first few album Arctic Monkeys, definitely in that category. Hello, Preston. How you doing, bud? <coughs> oh, hang on. I can do this. Hopefully that worked. That's a specific sneeze button. Or to, mu or to mute the microphone when you're sneezing or something. Anyway, welcome to Pollock Shores East. Pollock Shores an ear. <laughs> Pollock Shores in an ear. Nice. Did you... Ah, someone's just watered these flowers. Excellent. I'll need that on a warm day. I like the style of station, just the island platform, the kind of walkway that comes up between the tracks from the road. It's a road, etc. And 
and we fall back down. We, <coughs> we. <coughs> I remember when people saying the Arctic Monkeys are the next Beatles. Look, any kind of British rock band that gets big, everyone's like, oh my god, the next Beatles, British Invasion 2 or 3 or 4 or whatever we're at now with it. <laughs> Watered it with piss. <laughs> Look, Nick. Look, I know it's Glasgow, but we shouldn't assume. Much. I'm doing good despite being bombed about certain things in racing lately. Oh, what's that? Nope. <laughs> Sorry, reality just broke for a second there. That happens in Glasgow. You haven't been on a proper night out in Glasgow unless you've experienced one split in reality. You've seen one tear in the whole of reality. Why do you think Amy Pond became a Doctor Who companion? She was Scottish. Of course she was going to see tears in reality. I don't know if she was Glaswegian or not, but... Actually, it was... Yeah, Amy, Amy Pond was definitely... Um, Kurt Busch and his uh, sideline said, but yeah, it's... <coughs> if you grew up in that kind of era of uh, racing, it's uh, heavy. There's a lot to deal with all at once. Um, train, do you want to? Do you want to stop? <laughs> I mean, close enough. What the Beatles did cannot be recreated, which is why they're still so legendary over 50 years after they broke up with half of them dead. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like incredibly famous band were incredibly famous there's never going to be another one like them you know see also a band like queen there's never going to be another band like queen ever there will be great bands again but there's never going to be another one like queen the winner at pocono and the runner-up being squalid oh God. that was some prime nascar housery right there yep there we go <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know what's up with my um, throat today. No rude jokes. Now, now, I know you're all better than that. You're not. All for a piece of tape, <laughs> effectively. Cathcart, platform one. Aha. Uh -huh. The self-titled station on, this, on the Cathcart Circle album. Cathcart. It's the Cathcart Circle title track, Cathcart. We're heading to the titular Cathcart. Sorry, the titular. <laughs> oh, we've got a yellow signal. And we've actually got to slow down to 20 here, so. We're not going to in time. We've, we've seen the sign saying we've got to slow down, so we're not going to slow down in time. The parents saw the Beatles at Shea Stadium. No way! And when Paul stepped up to the microphone to sing yesterday, the screaming got so loud they couldn't actually hear the song being played. Wow. Wow. That's very cool. Aha! We've got another train. Morning, uh, Gary. <coughs> Morning, Glenn. <laughs> I could go on my usual tirade about NASCAR not having a clue, but that's a song you've heard me sing ad nauseum because it's not stopped being any less true. Unfortunately, it's the song that you've kept singing because it's not like it's stopped being true. I don't really think NASCAR has really had a clue what it's been doing since, I don't know, about 2003, maybe. lovely little river there. Is this the River Clyde again? Oh, sound of running water. Actually, let's not focus too much on that. It's making me want the, uh, want the <laughs> it's making me need the loo. Also, the Spa 24 hours this weekend. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. The Spa 24 is normally the, the big endurance race of the year that I can't, I kind of struggle to get into, I guess, because it's not multi-class. It's just a load of GT3s for the entire race. I'm like, yeah, what's, you know, if, if there's, if Le Mans is boring in one class, you're like, oh, what's going on in the other in this class? There's normally something going on in one of the others, but it, at Spa, it's just 60-odd GT3 cars all <coughs> trundling around. Um, there we go. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to it this year. I'm excited. 
right in the mood for some good endurance racing. All right, Mount Florida. Oh God, why are we going to Florida? I don't want to go to Florida. Glasgow man does not want to meet Florida man. There'll be an explosion in the space-time continuum. If you look at the history of dumbass moves they made ever since they were founded, have they ever had a clue? I think they did. They must have had some clue to, you know, launch in the first place and do some good things. Not Daytona. Yeah, no, there is no Daytona this weekend, I don't think. Come on, get to 40, get to 14, get to 14. There you go. And braking. That for, oh, of course, yeah. Not Daytona. Daytona is the only bit of Florida I'm willing to accept. Appeal to an audience outside the deep south and shake off his image as a red export that isn't safe to appear and if you're different. And not really doing a good job of that, if we're honest. BTCC is back this weekend. It is. I am excited. Ironically, it's in Scotland. It's at Knock Hill. Late model race at the National Fairgrounds. Oh, yes. Good choice, my G. Very good choice. Oh, we're we about to. We've actually braked early. My God. Now there's a first. So now we're at Mount Florida. <laughs> or in Gaelic, Knot Florida. <laughs> it's Knot Florida. And appealing to those who have a fetish for fights and a way to it. Yeah. Well, there was one reason I pieced out. Well, I was kind of done by the end of 2015, but I gave 2016 a chance. But I, it didn't come back. The love didn't come back for me. By the end of 2015, when you had intentional wrecks and all that kind of drama and like everyone was going mad for it, I'm like, this ain't really it for me anymore. This is actually just, this is everything that people have said about NASCAR being the WWE and motorsports. It's actually now true. Like that's not a myth anymore. It's actually true and they're actually leaning into it. So yeah, no, by that point I was like, nah, do you know what fam, I'm, I'm out. I could book everything in stages. I thought you said you weren't going to a NASCAR race. Tish. Anyway, how NASCAR pulls off a street rate. It will be it will be a complete and utter cluster f It will be a complete and utter cluster fruit cake. You know it will. Alright, onwards to Cross Hill we go. We're going to a hill that's very cross. Oops. <laughs> Suddenly slowing down again. There we go. But I like WWE. NASCAR can still be fighting video games. I mean, bigger shit show than the Clash at the Coliseum. Which has its problems, but at least it's trying to do the best with what it... British touring cars are pretty good. I don't think there's much to complain about in touring cars at the moment. Oh, yes, NASCAR 21. <laughs> Maybe not that video game. Maybe not that... Oh, God. The, st the station ambushed me. I was coming around the corner, minding my own business, and then suddenly there's a station stopping it. Not you, though. <laughs> Only issue with BTC is bitch energy. Well, they've already come up with some sort of bollocks claim about the Superbike team they sponsor. They're like, well, actually, um, we've uh, gone into administration, but the, the sponsor, the company that sponsors the team in the British Superbikes is not Rich Energy Limited. It's Rich Energy uh, PLC Limited dot net. Everyone, literally everyone just looks at the statement like, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. <laughs> NASCAR 21 is the NASCAR of NASCAR games. It really is. This is a quaint little station, isn't it? What's it called? Cross Hill. Or Knock Narcroiz. <laughs> Anyone who actually speaks Gaelic, I... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I really don't understand their business strategy. Whose business strategy? Rich Energy. They don't have one, so they don't exist. They are an elaborate drug uh, drug farming scheme, something. 
This year, NASCAR tried to do a pride thing. It went about as well as you might expect. Mm. 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 Or kick the shit out of Beach Energy in like five seconds. Yeah. If there's any head of a racing series that ain't going to take no shit from uh, Ponzi scheme sponsors, it's Alan Gow. Who actually, fun fact, makes a cameo in the Top Gear uh, Brick Car Endurance Challenge. He's racing in that race. There's even a bit beforehand where Jeremy Clarkson's is like, so what's your car? Is it a, a three series? Like, oh, no, it's an M3. And he's like, okay, please be nice to us. And Alan Gow just goes, no. <laughs> It's very Alan Gow, and I love the fact that it's only now that I've gone back and watched it. I'm like, oh my god, that's Alan Gow! Yars car. Oh god. Oh no. Queen's Park Station. Queen's Park Station. My inner Londoner gets very... My inner Londoner is getting very confused right now. Train, do you want to stop? <laughs> brakes on this thing are made of ceramic plates. They're actually just made of dinner plates. Uh, anyway. Um, this is a safety announcement. Don't, ah! <laughs> right, anyway. Flower train! Hippie train! It's a flower train. The flower power train. Oh, is there an exit down here? I wonder if the platform's extended this far once. Or if the station was originally sighted here and then it got moved down a bit. Prail went to Lance here for breaks. You know, there's no lie detector here. Oh, I've just noticed the very uh, trademark PEP uh, EMU sound. That kind of ting, ting, ting. The traction mode is kind of like ticking over when they're off. <laughs> there's a 24-hour race at about 1 a.m. and Rednick starts firing into the air. Right, anyway, let's go. Pollock Shields East, Platform 1. So we must be coming back round on the um, on the return leg now. Because we've been through Pollock Shields West. In fact, that was our first stop out of Glasgow Central. I love sort of urban rail networks like this, where you're all really, like, it's really intense and really packed in. You're going through these little cuttings between the buildings and that. Almost feels like, um, like kind of a bit claustrophobic, if that makes sense. Like, not actually claustrophobic, because that's actually unpleasant, but... Alan Gow is an Aussie that they're never getting... But no, no, he's ours now. He, uh, fam, he's ours. <laughs> you ain't getting him back now. You had your chance. Uh oh Please, please stop. In fact, yeah, you know, uh, the lines that we went on to head out to Pollock Shields West, they're right there. So we ran around the corner there. Okay, there's a red signal right after the stop marker. We cannot miss this one train. Train, please. Train, please. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We managed it that time. And yeah, here's Pollock Shields East version. <laughs> Pollock Shields Eastern mix. Here's some newspapers for you. Probably the Daily Record, so, you know, I don't know. Use it to wipe your ass or something if you run out of toilet roll. Pollock Shields and Ear. <laughs> East must be an Ear in uh, Gaelic. He's head of the FIA Touring Car Commission now, and I hope what he has done for BCC can help other touring car series around the world, including the World Touring Car Championship itself, which is... Does it even still exist? Well, no, it doesn't. It's the World Touring Car Cup. It's lost World Championship status. And, yeah. Heading back to Glasgow Central. Platform 9. 647 is kind of 1.3 miles. We've got about two and a half minutes to do it. Off we go. An extra bit of platform there at the end of the station. <laughs> Nine and three quarters. Please, I like here for transphobic f***ery. Oops. As right, so we're going uphill, we'll, there you go. We'll coast the speed off. <clears throat> Eventually, we'll get to 25. <laughs> Eventually. 
Well, yeah, no signal up ahead as well. An amber signal, I should say. Which means you might want to might want to just be prepared to stop. There might be something up ahead. <laughs> it irritates me, to be honest, because why would you not put that three quarters of the way down platform nine at King's Cross? Yeah. Don't make no sense. Like most of J.K. Rowling's beliefs these days. Sorry, Joanne's beliefs. <laughs> I nearly called it Joanne Vortigon. What's what, Gorbrath? That's a like nom de plume, isn't it? Robert Robert Gallbladder. Robert Kidney Stone. Yeah, that's about. Yeah, she is about as useful as a kidney stone. I hope we can get the meanies back on the British Touring Car Support Package one day. Amen. I agree. I missed that red signal. At We're not going to stop in time, are we? No. <laughs> there was no way. There was no way this train was going to do that. Right. Yeah, you know what I just said about an amber signal denoting that we might have to stop? Yeah, it turns out we, we did have to stop. And um, I spotted it in time. Honest. Anyway. Thanks for the checkpoint thing. We'll, we'll just go back here. We'll just go back here. We'll just go back to uh, Pollock Shields East. Thirty miles an hour, and we're going up an incline, so speed will bleed off. Should do. Yeah, it's getting steeper. There we go. All right, this time we'll give him a very close eye on the signals. Like I said, if we were in another kind of train, we might have the brakes to have actually got away with a stop like he just tried, but in this. With its brakes made of commemorative plates from from your grand's dressing room, it, it's not happening. It ain't happening. Porcelain is not a good material to make brakes out of. That's my conclusions from today's stream. If you take anything from today's stream, brakes should not be made out of ceramic material. Ter terracotta brakes. Right, we're still going up hill. Four. Uh. Excuse me. Right. So it's still yellow. Aha! So it's the signals beyond this yellow that are red. Or oh, cheese. Yes. All right, let's start slowing down because we can very clearly see that the next signal's red. And know this because it's almost like we were just here. Aha! There you go. Give him a bit of time to slow off. Give him time to go to a yellow signal. Or is the cheese the brake blocks? I think either way. Porcelain brake pads meets cheese brake blocks. It's not It's not good. It's, it's <laughs> His new uh, Parmesan material brakes? Uh, it's not good. Still amber. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez. And still amber. We may well get ambers all the way into uh, Glasgow Central now, but I'm not taking any risks. In fact, we can slow down a little bit more. There you go. Perfect. Platform nine. Aha, we have the road straight into the platform. Okay, excellent. We do have a red signal now, but that's literally at the end of the platform. To stop us smashing straight into Glasgow Town Centre. <laughs> like, yeah! Pfft. Smashing straight onto the high street. It's like, yeah, we're here! 
Look, if it was Milton Keynes, I might do that. Mm. And yeah, we're back here. Is anyone getting deja vu? It's almost like we've already been here. <laughs> Glasgow rather like this circular route, don't they? Milton Queens. <laughs> Oh, uh, sex-based uh, auto mod. I'd be very concerned if that was involved in... I mean, I'm not judging, but, you know. Wait, AJ, you're not Gordon. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not Gordon Brown. Or, uh, Gordon... I don't know. <laughs> I'm not Gordon Strachan. All right. I'm on the doors. And there we go, yeah. Back into, uh, back into Glasgow. Central. Glasgow Central. Maxwell Park, Shoreland, Pollockshire, West, Langsdale, Cactus Park, Park, Florida, Cross Hill. And then Queen's Park, Pollock Hills, East Glasgow Central. So Platform 9 must be where they run the kind of circular route, uh, circular services. We put the circle in Glasgow Circle. Oh, you meant the train from Thomas. Oh, I see, right. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely not that. Very much not that. Smoking is not permitted. No, it isn't. Because that's bullshit. Doobie doo. The economy is in ruins. I blame the previous chancellor. You should see next actual PM strat circa 22. I love that I know exactly where that, that joke's come from, where that reference has come from. Ah, there we go. Didn't even have to lock the doors again. 34 minutes, 55 seconds. Circle cycle. We didn't get a medal for that. Come on now. Come on. I mean, that's harsh, really. There, there was the whole point where we we, uh, we spanned. We did do a bit of a span. We are a bit of a spanner. That's a lovely picture, though. Trains in TV underscore Tom. Done good there. Right. So, let's go off and have some breakfast. And let's save the 66 engineering works run for a little bit. Uh, still a little bit of cloud. Bit of breeze. Yeah, that's okay. Snow level. In, yeah. There's no chance of that round here. So, Nielsen to Glasgow Central. So, we haven't been to Nielsen or... Uh, <laughs> sorry, my brain just stopped there. Newton. That's right. There we go. So, we haven't been to Nielsen or Newton. We've covered all of this middle bit here. This kind of, it kind of goes... And then we've gone round like that. We haven't covered this bit yet. I don't know what services would cover this bit. Or maybe that's the depot. That's probably the depot. Um, and then, yeah, so we'll go... Yeah. Let's go Glasgow Central to Nielsen. Which will run the opposite way, the route we've just done. But then we'll branch off rather than going back around on ourselves. Right. Commuter service from Glasgow Central to Nielsen. Oh. Helps we do that first. And then do that. There we go. Uh. Oh, dearie me, I see you. I'm very late indeed. Sorry, lads. Was hanging out at a streamer's crush. Stri Mark. Mark. You could have just said, sorry, you're late. <laughs> now, now we need to know the story. Now, now we need to know. And look, no judgment. As someone who has a list of TikTok crushes. 7.51.30. Okay, well, we've got time for Mark to tell his story. Um, <laughs> hello, Mark. How you doing, bud? The train journey's been good. We've just done a uh, circular route from Glasgow Central out and then back into Glasgow Central again. So... Yeah, we just did that. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and now we're doing a run from Glasgow Central out to Nielsen. We're on the Cathcart Central. Oh, Black and Mild is out here. Lovely to see you in here, bud. Squad up. How you doing, bud? Good to see you in here. Thank you for reaching out the other day. I um, I appreciate I appreciate that. Um, RE, my wheel issues. Where are they racing this week? The rain is coming to F1 this weekend. It's the Hungaro ring. It just happens. 
Plus, you know, if they want to be all homophobic, God can rain down upon them. Uh, left. She wanted to hit Platt in Valorant. Who's Platt? Who's Platt and why does she want to hit him? I'm just there to support and I couldn't help but fawn. <laughs> you couldn't. Mark, the, the word you're looking for there is simp. You, 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 you wanted to simp. And, and that's fine. The rain came to my face too, learning said. That's valid. That is absolutely valid. That's a definite. Um, platinum, like, I, yeah, I, I figured that was it. I was just being disingenuous. In my usual humor Oh no, I've not set the lights. Hang on. Um. There we go. Yes. Got the right lights. Need some speed. Come on. Speed. All aboard the hype train. Heck yes. How have you been, Black and Wild? How have you been, bud? I feel like I don't hear from you enough. Whenever I do, it's a pleasure. It's always good. Everything the light touches is our train. Working, yeah, Val. <laughs> You're fair. Where have you been? Well, doing this thing you might have heard called work, having a job. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Depart Glasgow Central on four. I've opened the window. This now we closed it again. Uh, and we belched. And we belched out the window. That's a lovely view of the River Clyde. Glasgow stre stretching out in front of us. Stretching out in all directions. Call it simpy, I just wanted to see her and listen to her voice. That's absolutely valid. That's absolutely valid. Like I said, there's no judgment here. It's not like I totally don't do that with Nova. I mean, uh, and it, yes. There's no one I do that with, but, you know. Wait, are we in Glasgow tonight? We are, well, today we are, yes. The bleak. So where are we heading, Mr. Johnson? Well, we are heading to uh, a little place called Neilston in South Glasgow. I don't know what's there. I guess we'll find out when we get there. But that's where we're going right now. There's also a point that goes nowhere there. There's a few points there that go nowhere. I'm rather concerned. <laughs> the bleed. You all heard of the bleep test in school? The true test. Hey, AJ. Hello, Kia. We're on home turf for you. Well, roughly. Uh, I don't know how close you are actually to Glasgow, but yeah, we're in Glasgow. So uh, you should probably, you, you're probably there to be like, why are you pronouncing that name like that? Why are you doing that? What, how have you got lost? My school did not have that. Which school, which, uh, what did it have? A sense of bleep. <laughs> it did not have a, oh, the bleep test. Oh, you are so lucky. You are lucky that you avoided that ninth circle of hell. I mean, yeah, if you were all athletic and fit and good at sports and, and shit, then yeah, you know, I'm fine. But no, that was just a way of torturing nerds. It was a tax on nerds. It was nerdist. I live around the area. Excellent. Do you know a place called Neilston? Because we're heading there now. I always did well in the bleep test. Well, well, good for you. I really don't get it. I guess good for you. Which is unfortunate, because <laughs> ever since the TikTok sound I've heard, every time I hear that song now, after the chorus, I just expected to go into the Horrible Histories theme. Because someone did a mashup of that. So it's like, I really don't get it. I guess good for you. Terrible Tudors. Five Victorians. Five Wolves. Five Ninja Castle. Daring Knights. All of the girls in my year hated me and they always used to bully me during PE. Well, s f those people. Nobody steps to our hitch. Nobody. Meantime, right now, we're on our way to our first stop at Muir End, which is one we haven't stopped at yet. Great stop. Oh, yeah, they are. Whoops. <laughs> Oopsie. That just reminds me of dodgeball with the girls. Yeah, fairly accurate. I actually hated PE in my time. Amen. Nerd, stand up. Oh, well, we're not stopping here. So, Pollock Shields. It's Pollock Shields East, I think. Screw you. Come on in. Honk. I probably failed in life, so f*** them. 
In indeed. <laughs> I approve of this message. They tried twisting the game in their favour and the teacher told them to shut up and play the game. <laughs> Am I the only one that liked PE? No, quite a few people in my chat apparently did. You're not alone here. I felt happy and safe around the guys because they made me feel happy. Well, whoever whoever makes you feel happy is who you deserve to have around you. You have... No one should have to put up with the company of someone who makes you feel like shit. Year end, platform two. This is relatively fast service. This is another one we're not stopping yet. Uh, I'm trying to remember which... Uh, no, mine's got blank. I've not learned the route yet. Cut out the toxicity from your life. Amen. Amen. What's that? We can go 40 miles an hour. I love what kind of urban routes like this. Everything's so cramped in and congested and the distances between each stop is so short. Like 40 miles an hour. It's like, wow. 40 miles an hour on this run feels like 100 miles an hour anywhere else. I mean, look at this. Come on, come on. Let's hit 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour, come on. Uh-oh. Uh, now we've got to slow down. Uh, now we've got to slow down. We've got to slow back down again. Whoops. There we go. Did it. It's quite It's like a street circuit, this is. Electric vehicle, tight street circuit environment, but going fast. This is basically Formula E, train edition, that has existed far longer than Formula E has. Formula train. I was bathed in toxicity, raised in it. It was called Modern Warfare 2 while we played. <coughs> Formula E in Glasgow. That would be pretty fun. I'd be down for it. I kind of like how, you know, the idea was nice for Formula E because, like, Hey, you know what? The cars are smaller. They're not as fast as traditional cars, so why put them on normal circuits? Why not just run them on street circuits? Because you can go and do street circuit races, because normally they're like, Oh, no, we can't have them racing in the cities. They're too loud and polluting and... Oh. Oh, they're not? Unless you're Battersea, in which case there's old fogies that still have something to moan about, because they have nothing else worthwhile to do in their lives. For an octogenarian 20 miles an hour already feels like Mac 1. Uh, here's another station we're not stopping at. Morning! They need to repave the roads before that. No, I, I disagree. I think that should be a thing. <laughs> the suspension engineers just have to work that out. So it's, it's a battle of attrition on the streets of Glasgow. Pinta, Formula, Formula E, anyway. Psst. <laughs> Psst. Uh, uh, excuse me. I, like, I, I actually like the fact that NASCAR is exploring an electric side series. I'd never for one moment think that any of the main series, let alone Cup, should ever go that way. But having it on the support card makes total spent Short heat races as well. <clears throat> They'd be broken after five minutes. Well, exactly. That's the endurance part of it. That's, you know, it becomes a battle of repairing your cars. <laughs> Pick up NASCAR. Well, it's something they're doing right anyway. Oh, morning! Oh shoot, we've got to slow down again. Whoops, no, not emergency. Oh, the pubes. I didn't, I didn't want that. There we go. Near end. Well, this still isn't our first stop. But we just have to slow down. Oh my god, is the speed limit about to go to 50? Four! Now, what stop is this? Well, I think this is Cathcart. This is the titular, eh, <laughs> Cathcart. Yes, it is. Where do those lines come from? Look to the left. Needs to do a race in Birmingham. I agree. Birmingham Super Free vibes up in here. Real Super Free hours. You like your vacuum cleaner to go 150 mile an hour through Glasgow? Here's Formula E. Yes. All right. Oh, God. We're about to do 50 miles an hour. Guys, brace yourselves. We've got 0.6 miles to Muir End Station. Can we hit 50 miles an hour in that time? Let's find out. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. 29, 30. 31. 35. We're going quite steeply uphill as well. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. 
44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, right, and the brakes on, <laughs> jump on the brakes, oh my god, the station's there, oh my god, some poo, some poo is coming out, what, <laughs> it's wobbling, I kind of hold a captain, oh, we're going to make it, <laughs> listen, right, I had it under control, don't know what any of you are talking about, I was not nervous at all, look at this, just, just trundling peacefully into Murin Station, do, 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 do. Watch as I still miss the icon though. I've done 60 in the class 484. Well, that actually has brakes. It's not about doing the top. It was the short amount of time that we had to do the top speed before we had to stop for the station. The fact that we managed to do that with a train that has cardboard brakes. Very good. Very good. And anyway, welcome to Muir End. Or rather, um,. Kayan and to hyphen sleep. The kid's still in the chat. He's probably his head's just exploded. How badly I've butchered Gaelic. Very sorry. Let's take a nice picture to make up for it. <laughs> Let's take a nice picture to make up for it. There we go. Oh, I see a map. Map. Hang on. And slurp. There we go. So where are we? Hang on. So, aha, there we go. So we've literally just missed all this section out because the circular route that we've already done would cover all of those stations anyway. So we've gone fast all the way down there, gone through the junctions there, and now we're at Muir End. So we've got William Wood, White Craigs, <laughs> White Craigs, Patterson, and Neilston still to go. Okay. Let's go make that happen, shall we? Do -do -do -do. Oh, we can still do 50. Oh my god, we can still do 50. 50 from a standing start. William Wood Platform 2, we've got 1.3 miles. That's plenty of time to do 50. 50. Where we go? Like I said, 50 in one of these in an urban environment will feel like 100 miles an hour anywhere else. Oh, look at this, though. All of a sudden, we're out of the city. There's trees on either side. 50. The OGs, remember. 50. Also, I love the stream title. Thank you. Uh, I worked hard on my Scottish puns there. Well, referencing the unofficial Scottish national anthem. It's fairly easy. Meantime, we're going to hit 50 miles an hour again. And... Yes! 50 miles an hour. And as we know, we can wait until about 500 yards out and just smack the brakes on and do that. It's not even got into showing the yards on the distance marker. There we go. Now it is. Now it has. Around the city and the trees either side. That's something I love about Scottish towns and cities. Very similar down here in Kent, actually. Right, 600. Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, now we need to slap the brakes on. We need to backhand the brakes. Easy. I don't know what's so difficult about this train driving business. If anyway, we're braking too early. That's not possible in these trains. You can never break too early in trains with brakes made of papier-mâché. Made of old copies of the Daily Telegraph. And that's three unofficial national anthems. Flower of Scotland, 500 miles, and yes sir, I can boogie. Uh, yes. Chicken. Well, the fact they're all on strike. There you go. Yeah, welcome to uh, Williamswood. Hang on. Get me off. I'll check what station we're at. William Wood, otherwise known as Coile Uliam. Coile Uliam. Uliam. Yes. Oh, I've got a poster. It's locked. It's Nessie. Short and long stay parking is available. Tickets. 
Yep, probably doesn't work. Bar shelter. Imagine for yourself the faint smell of urine. You should have late break that station. I was trying. Look, listen, I was trying. I was trying to get up the inside into the corner, into the station. Trying to make the pass. Cockness. <laughs> Or time that one. Did we? No, we didn't. There we go. <laughs> I need to see AJ throw a MotoGP block pass on the train. <laughs> Vic, I can try. Also, welcome in, bud. Sable to send here. Always. Always. That's now actually what he's doing. He's now received like a higher calling. He's now like, I am now off to send it to dive bomb environmentalism, to dive bomb pollution. To send it down the inside into the hairpin of humanity. And multi-21 the shit out of pollution. You know, in his case, it's, he's less emotional damage. He's more ecological damage. Cockermouth Cumbria. Oh, can we hit 50 miles an hour again? Oh my god, the speed limit goes up to 55 in a minute. And 50. 500 yards. I will break 500 yards from the stop. 50. Again. Maybe we just have to warm the brakes up. Maybe it is like a race car. It is like a racing car. You've got to warm the brakes up. Uh, excuse me. That's the one I meant. There we go. Into White Craigs. I'm certain that's not how you pronounce it. <laughs> 250 yards from the stop, you break. All right, then we'll, we'll try that next time. Given that, like I say, we are using brakes made solely out of old cheeseburgers. As, you know, as demonstrated here. I know, actually, you know what? The brakes are doing better. My God. Oh, go on. Ow! Oh, that ball, is that Mick Lynch on the platform? On the other side. He's showing up to turn up on BBC Scotland. Well, actually, I, I think the Tories are absolute <laughs> and, and I think, you know, workers deserve equal pay and, and fair pay raises year on year. Do you not think there's a massively radical socialist communist policies, you commie bastard. Uh, no, I just think that's basic living rights for human beings in the world. Right, here we go. Onwards. The brakes are in optimal range. They really are. Brake temps are looking good. The F1 race engineer who's not Jeff, because Jeff's been sacked. Jeff's been fired. I'd almost love it if, like, in can like, the voice actor who played Jeff shows up in another game as a race engineer, like a non-F1 racing game, as the engineer, and it's like, oh my god, Jeff from the F1 game's got a new job. Like, imagine if he showed up in, like, Grid Legends or something. That's a Codemasters game as well, actually. Imagine that. Right, what was it someone was saying? Patterson Platform 2 is our next stop. Come on. 50 miles an hour, we can do it. Jeff in Legends would be lovely. That would be vibes. Right, what was it? 250 yards from the stop. All right. Mark Laren's back. Has he been off simping some more? I don't want to hear Jeff ever again. <laughs> Hashtag sharp Jeff. Right, when did we say we'd start braking? I'm getting, no I'm getting very nervous. We're doing 50 miles an hour and we're still not braking. Just off pissing. Fair enough. Right, oh god, oh god, oh no, the poo. Right, here we go. Step three, but, uh, oh right, yep, yeah, late braking. Oh my god, it might work. Oh my god, it might work. Oh my god, Blanca Mild, are you an actual genius? I mean, I mean, listen, right? He's only gone and done it. Well done. I, 
listen, I thought we'd just go careering through the station in a shower of sparks and end up back over the border in England. We'd end up in Berwick upon Tweed. See? <laughs> to be fair, you drive heavy vehicles for a living. So you might know something about braking distance, stopping distances. Two hundred and seventy five yards, it'd be perfect. Yes. Yes. There we go. How are we two minutes behind schedule? That's impossible. It's impossible. Right, Nielsen platform two. 3.6 miles. Oh, we can really get some speed up down here. 55 miles an hour top speed coming up. Now I want to see some truck racing after hearing about HDVs. <laughs> I think the British truck racing is, uh, I want to say it's at Donington sometime next month. Because we keep getting off the train. Yeah, that is a bit annoying. God damn people wanting to get on and off the train. How dare they? It's like whenever I'm on a bus, I'm like, what? No, why do you want to get off here? Doris, why the, why the f*** do you want to get off here? What, is bingo tonight? That f***ing interesting, is it? And everyone's like, but that's the whole point of buses. You're allowed to do that. Well, that's why I don't like buses. But you like trains. Yes, but it's an autism thing. I know when they're going to stop. Mostly. If they run schedule, I know which bits, places they're going to stop at, which bus stops they're going to stop at. Not just, ooh, they might stop at this one if... Granny Doris down the road wants to go get a pension from the post office. Or some wank like that. Sorry, some like that. The last year, a year after dealing with them on the motorway. Fair enough. Right, come on, we want to do 55. 55. Oh, we've got a bridge. Oh, we've got a CX viaduct. <gasps> that is a CX viaduct, actually. Look at that. Oh, that's very nice. That's worthy of a screenshot. Absolutely. I think so. Come on. Yes. 55. 55. <laughs> it's actually a reference to the intro of um, uh, 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 the Alan Partridge film, Alpha Papa. Oh, there's another train coming the other way. All right, Neil. Morning. Morning, Neil. Oh, we have to do 15 miles an hour in two and a half miles. Boring. Come on. 55. 55. I say, that's actually a reference to the intro of uh, the Alan Partridge film, where he's driving into work in his car. And uh, the, the, the youths who are presenting the breakfast show are like, oh, yeah, well, uh, we've got Alan Partridge coming up later. How old has he got to be now? It's got to be 60 or 70 or something. And then he's driving along in his car listening to the show, and he's like, 55. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, let's play a bit of Roachford for you. And he played the banging song Cuddly Toy by Roachford, which is an absolute certified banger, by the way. Um, and then the whole opening credits is just Alan Partridge lip syncing along to it in his car. Including a bit in the bridge of the song where he starts yelling at someone in another car like, your fog lights are on. Your, your fog lights are on. There's no fog. The very Alan Partridge kind of way. Need a custom horn. Nim, nim, nim. Right, come on, come on. 1.4 miles. Do we have to go 15 mile an hour? When did we start breaking for the last stop? It was 300 yards. Come on, come on, keep going. Hustle. Come on, hustle along. We can do this. We can do this. Uh oh, there's a yellow signal. I'm scared. I'm scared. There's a yellow signal. 275, that's right. There's a yellow signal, I'm nervous. Lovely. Okay, here we go. Right. Next signal is red. 0.6. Aha, uh -huh, here we go, here we go. Alright, this is tension. This is tension. 
The tension's real. Right. Uh, I'm jamming on. I'm jumping on the brakes. No, not emergency. Guys. <laughs> we pulled up early. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Oh, yeah. Huh? What the? No. <laughs> God, immediately lock the doors again. Oh. Give them five seconds to disembark from the train. Definitely cracked the code. I know that. All right. Yes, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. The speed. We've got a gold medal as well. Scott Rail's national. Yes, it is, because Scotland is a sensible country-ish. More sensible than England, anyway. Um, we got the gold medal. I assume you left from Central. Yes. The hype train waits for no normal citizens. Amen. Right, so what I think we'll do now is we'll shoot for two hours. I mean, are you sure about that? In that case, congrats on working for the people and not to line the pockets of executives. So is Wales, yeah. Um, explore. Tim Tabble. To finish the trilogy of uh, passenger services on this run, let's run from Newton to Glasgow. Is there another type? Uh, via Pollock Shields West, we could do that. Yes, I like that one. Uh, I Wells represent our oh, Nad. <laughs> Houston, let's keep going. Newton via Pollock Shields West. Sounds good to me. Eight thirty-three. Let's do it. Bugger off, Brad Pitt. I know it's a train movie, but it ain't related to this. I was like that bullet train wing nut shit. shit. Um, right, anyway. Unlock the doors. Well, we need to put the master key in for that. And then pop that on. There we go. Right, on. Oh, lights, lights, we need that. We need those. There we go. GTI, I love you, but f*** off. I agree, yeah. I agree. Yeah, Twitch chat's getting annoying now. I mean, Jesus Christ. The amount of times I've come into streams recently and it's like, 30 second LucasAid advert. All right, at least I'm now watching the uh, stream. A minute later, three advert, ad break. I literally just watched an ad break when I arrived in the stream, you wing nut. Five ad... This is bollocks. This is bollocks. I will definitely have to go into the ad manager thingy where it's like, well, if you have loads of ads, we'll give you more of a revenue split. We'll give you more money. I'm like, I, I don't care. I don't care. I want people to actually watch my streams. Rather than watch a com more commercials than friggin' ITV daytime television. It's like the whole YouTube thing. Yeah, you remember when YouTube was going to kill off television? And in the end, it's now just trying to be a shit version of television. <laughs> with as many ad breaks. If only the ads were even worth a damn. Uh, let me guess, you probably had one for LucasAid. You probably had GTA. You probably had Audible. There's always an Audible one. Um, not American daytime. Exactly. Exactly right. Yeah, you've probably had at least one LucasAid advert, at least one Audible advert, at least one... Uh, let me think about this. Hang on. Let's not think about this. Let's go. Commercials are a good way to deter people from watching stream. Oh, it might help if we put the reverser into forward. That helps. Yeah, none of those. Which ones did you have? Oh, Charles out here. I had an all four one. What was that? Watch reruns of the in-betweeners and Hollyoaks. Also, train! <laughs> Black and Mild had f***ing ketchup. I'm very interested what f***ing ketchup is and how it differs from normal un-f***ing ketchup. Anyway, we're underway. 
we are underway. And a Virgin Media one. Oh, yeah, that, that's a common one. Yep, yeah, Virgin Media. Yep. Yeah. None of them. I think that's because I'm in Malaysia. Ah, fair enough. Samsung. Oh. Oh, yeah, I think I've seen a Samsung one recently. A Smamsmung. Beats. By the way, hello, Charles. How are you doing, friend? Audible. Yep. Yeah. If you're in if you're in Britain, I think most mayo chop, but the mayo is replaced with 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 Nick, with Nick. not with Nick. It's not replaced with. But anyway, yes, Verizon, which I'm already on a plan. <laughs> yeah, don't you just love being advertised things that you already have? Google, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Always makes me laugh when on YouTube you get Google ads. I'm like, I'm literally watching something you already own, Google. I'm already using a service you own. Still giggling at seeing oat drink in Ikea. <laughs> I, I need context for this. I'm shocked that I've not had the Talk Talk ad yet. What one that is? I may have had a Plusnet ad at one point, which again is weird because I'm literally on Plusnet. You're showing me a Plusnet advert that is being streamed to me via a Plusnet internet connection. I'm going through a tunnel. Let's, let's be careful here. I use Google to search by default. I like the fact that Mark self-censored himself there. He tried to do the text version of the shit. Since I use TalkTalk, Talk, yeah. All right. Uh, with, oh, my God. Here we go. Right, here we go. Tension. Fingers on the buzzers. Fingers on the brakes. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we might have left this one a bit late. Oh, tension. Oh. I know this one a bit late. Come on, come on. Also, cold brakes. I've not warmed up the brakes and tyres yet. Uh, uh, close enough. Yeah. Uh, listen. Just avoid getting out of the front coach. You'll be fine. You'll be re. Me and Stormy went to IKEA yesterday and we kept laughing at oat drink because it was in caps. Was there something on the menu? Did you inevitably go and have meatballs in IKEA? Because that's a rite of passage. And you were just like, do you want your meatballs with oat drink? Ikea cider. <laughs> you laugh, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's actually quite nice. Swedes, they're built different, man. <laughs> they're built different. So is their furniture. <laughs> the Swedes are built different, just like their furniture. Wait till 8.38. We're running early. Hell yeah. As a cider guy, I need to try it. Same. If you see that being said, I should be thankful. YouTube's ads are worse. Seminar scammers. Oh, I've had those before. Chinese language games and the Malaysian equivalent of televangelists asking for money. Oh, no, I've had some of those. I have had some of those over here. There's some of the American ones. There was like a five-minute advert once about like, uh, I'm, I'm, I want to say it was like some sort of flat earth group. Like literally YouTube had, had zero standards for advertising now. I say now. Doubtful they ever did. It was just in the food bit. He wanted some Swedish squash and I got sweets. Swedish sweets. YouTube, what the f- Yeah, no. Yeah, you know. You get used to it. Well, you don't. <laughs> well, actually, you don't. Burnside, platform one. Excellent. That's also reminding me of the character uh, DC, DCI Burnside from uh, The Bill. Because <laughs> clearly I'm an old man who grew up in the 90s. Well, I did grow up. I was born in the 90s, but clearly my maturity is about two decades before my actual age. Japanese train sim I was playing at Nerg. <laughs> at Nerg. I assume that's N-E-R-G. Uh, whoa, excuse me. What uh, convention was that? Hey, the bill was good. It was. It was. I love the bill. That's what I'm saying. I was born in the 90s and finally grew up in the 20s. Yeah. Open the DRS wing on the train. I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. I've activated ERS and everything. I need fan boost. <laughs> Quickly donate to my co fi and we'll get some fan boost. I'm joking. 53 miles an hour. Come on. Northeast Retro Gaming. Oh, nice. I've never seen the Bill, but I remember you playing the theme song in your getaway stream. Yes, because the Bill theme song is one of the greatest TV themes ever. I also played it on repeat. Um during the flipping GTA streams whenever we did the police side missions. And uh, speaking of which, hint to a game that I'm playing soon. You'll be hearing that again. 
Here, hold that thought. I have news! Breaking news! Great news! What? Oh, God! Oh, God! I got distracted! No! I got distracted! I got distracted by the news that K-Mag is wearing glasses! Great news, Barrett! No! Okay, now we're good. The platform's longer here. No, please! Please! Why does this train have brakes made of... Uh, cum? <laughs> Late break the train hammer. No! Black and mild, we're not doing this. S sir, we're not, we're not doing this. Every time I think the poxy me- the Every time one of you makes a stupid getaway meme, I add another five years onto when I'm potentially going to stream the getaway again on this channel. We're now about, oh, I don't know, 65 years. Come, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, obviously. Anyway, yeah, welcome to Burnside Station. It's over there. Our train's over here. Okay, if we're going to be doing this late brake shenanigans, we've got to actually pay attention. You know, the brake markers are, um, hitting your brake points are uh, an important part of learning the track. AJ, you're not a racing driver. You're a train driver. These commuters got to get to work on time, haven't they? Maybe you don't care about getting commuters on there on time, but I do. So let's get, let's get the f*** out of here. Egg. Yes, I've got to find a way to stream it for myself then. Yes! Then you can make all the getaway memes you want. Croftfoot Platform 1. Did you complete GTA 4? No, I didn't get close to it. I will do. I want to do it offline because I've got some uh, a film, that I've, some videos I want to make in that game anyway. Uh, it's not the next... I'm not going to be streaming it. It's not the next game I'm going to be streaming on Mondays to replace Crash Bandicoot. Um, think about the last one we streamed. And uh, th there's one in between those. All right, 50 miles an hour. Come on, we can do this. 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. 50. Son Andreas. Yes. The name sounds a bit like that. Yes. 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. Oh, God. Yellow signals. Yellow signals. Scared. Scared. Uh oh, 1.1 miles. No, that's fine. 400. Here we go. We've got to get this right. We've got to get this just right. 308, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. Oh. Now! Guys, I, I don't think. The, I think the braking is. Uh, I, I don't think the brakes have warmed up yet. Um. The braking performance is actually getting worse. <laughs> we have now arrived. <laughs> you might need cera carbon ceramic brakes. <laughs> oh no, I didn't opt for the optional carbon ceramic brake package on my class three one four. Oh, what a lovely picture. Okay, back to 300 then. Yes. Yes, I agree. Just don't hit any chavs. <laughs> Is there a bus driving sim? Oh, there's loads of bus driving sims out there. Fun fact as well, when I finally get my wheel properly sorted, either if I my DFGT, if I think my DFGT is working enough, or I just get a new Thrustmaster wheel when funds allow, um, I might finally be tempted to play some uh, truck simulator. Euro or American. I'm not fast, just one of them. You know, only about four years late to the party there, of course, but that's kind of my trend, really. Yes. Thing is, I feel like I'm betraying the trains. Betraining. You know, the, the railways in, in, in Britain were ripped up, in part to build lots of roads, and all the freight got put on the roads, behind lorries, behind trucks. And now you just expected me to drive a truck, are you? Betray the railway, are you? Yes, well, I probably will. Would you ever open a P.O. box for people to send you stuff? I, I'd love to be in a position where I'm popular enough for that. Um, I would consider it, certainly. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. Kings Park is right up there. Are we even going to make 50 miles an hour before we do that? Here we go. All right, 49, 50, 50. Ah, we're, we're on a downhill gradient here. That's probably not helping the braking. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, train. I believe in you. I believe in you. 40, 30. 30. Now! Oh, 
<laughs> Stuck on emergency briefly. Oh, come on. There's a red signal on the other side of the platform. Come on. Come on, train. Come on, train. I believe in you. Come on, train. You're not going to stop in time, are you? No. No, hang on. He's got second wind. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, please stop. There we go. Look, listen. Close enough, all right? People can disembark. See, look. No one is disembarking from the front coach because um, they probably know better than that. They know better than to not... The whole thing in a shit noise is the <laughs> Maybe 3.30, yeah. I think because we're going on a downhill gradient, I think that's not helping the braking. And, yeah, we're probably overheating the brakes. Anyway, we're at Kings Park, otherwise known as Park and Rig and Rahad. <laughs> Very soft. Kier's just punching his, punching his computer screen right now in disgust. Disgusting! No one in the first coach can... No, they can disembark here. They're fine. Just a bit, bit of a jump down. Please mind the plunge. <laughs> right. Here we go. Oh, no. We've got to slow down to 25 miles an hour. Oh. That's boring. How fast can we get up to before then? Come on. And... 25. There we go. See, what you don't know is that speed limit was not imposed before earlier this morning. That's not the actual line speed for this line. They've literally just put it in place. They've just put a temporary speed restriction there because they're like, oh, God, that clown. That clown who joined us this morning is trying to do the brake test, <laughs> brake check challenges between every station, and he's missing his, he's missing the markers every time. Make him slow down. The pronunciation here, yeah, it's, it's not good. I'm, I'm well aware of that. There we go. Not quite. 55. Right, come on. You're going to slow down to 20 in a minute. This will be really boring. The new TikTok challenge. Late break a train. And somehow less people will end up in intensive care in the IC, in the emergency unit as a result of this TikTok challenge than the flipping cinnamon. Uh, what was it? Ice cinnamon or something. Cinnamon roll challenge or something. Tide pods challenge or something. Challenge where I literally have to eat a, <laughs> eat a bottle of bleach. The down a bottle of bleach challenge. Which I think these days is just the, n the new way of evolution. The pink sausage thing. I, I don't even know about that one. Isn't, isn't a pink sausage what they welded onto James May's steering wheel in that Grand Tour episode when he had a broken arm? At least this TikTok challenge won't confuse me upon hearing it. <laughs> oh, 40 miles an hour. We can speed up. Ooh. But it's 850 yards till the next stop. Can we hit 40 miles an hour for the next station? Here we go. Oh, come on. Give me, the, give me 40. The drinking petrol challenge. Go. Here we go. Come on. 23. It's the Scott Rail GTI. It's the Class 314 GTI service. Class 314 Type R model. Come on. 35, 36. Come on. Come on. 37, 38, 39, 40. There we go. And then... Whack the brakes on. Come on. There you go. Come on. You're doing a whole 10 miles an hour slower than previously. You've got to be able to stop in time. This has to give me early. Ironic if it's the GTI model. Pink sort. Oh, I see. Okay, it was not a challenge, but the lady who did it was silly. Can we do an F1 pit stop on a train? <laughs> We'd have to take it to the depot. Take it into the depot. Do a serve. Get your flipping the little uh, the little forklift truck from Cars. Still one of the funniest moments in... Uh, uh, easily the funniest moment in that film. And I like that film. A lot of people are quite down on cars. The first one I always really like. Because I'm a car nerd. I like all the references. It's a fine... It's a fun little film. It's cool. You know? Cars 2 apparently is absolute baloney. 
Cars 3, it sounds quite interesting, actually. I'd quite like to see that. But, yeah, Cars 1 I always rather liked. Pit Stop, yeah, Luigi, that's it, Pit Stop. Yeah, but that's the funniest bit from that. That makes me absolutely bust a gut laughing. I'm a sucker for that kind of humor. Just the coming to the pit stop. With the lug nuts flying up in the air and then coming back down. And then the perfectly timed cut to Chick Hicks' pit crew there, just like. Bang! <laughs> bit of mustaches fall off. <laughs> it's the exact same funny, like, the exact same thing that makes me laugh. As you remember the bit in the first Wallace and Gromit film, uh, the one where they go to the moon, because the moon is made of cheese, as we know. That's the real conspiracy about the moon landings they're not telling you. The moon landings happened, it's just they didn't tell you what they found there, that the moon is actually made of cheese. Wallace and his dog, a northerner and his dog in their homemade spaceship found the truth for it. Anyway. It's a real Mike Schumacher Ferrari. <laughs> Cars 2 actually had some good stuff in it, but the spy stuff really, yeah. It just seemed like they tried to wedge two films together that weren't two stories together that weren't really like just focus on one and do it well. You didn't need you didn't need both going on. It might have been one of those things where they're like, oh my god, we've got Michael Caine to do a voice in the second cast film. We can't really have him just do the voice of like a mechanic. How about we have this spy thriller subplot? And then the funniest bit is, you know the most annoying character in the first film, the one that nobody likes, the scrappy do of the cars franchise. Like, let's make him the hero of this spy subplot for some reason. A rare miss from Pixar, absolutely. No crackers, Gromit. We've forgotten the crackers. Ah, oh, can we just appreciate though? Bang on. Yes, it's about the close I've got all day. For now. Should have focused on the World Grand Prix instead of the spy stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, I've heard the third one's good. The third one is like, it had that, do you remember the really dramatic trailer it had for it? Where it was like, oh my god. Lightning McQueen having a slow motion crash, barrel rolling over, and then landing, and it looks like he's died. I heard someone who reviewed Cars 3 said, like, they almost thought that was the opening credits. Like, imagine that they actually killed off Lightning McQueen before the opening credits, and they're like, what? It's a Cars movie without. What? What? I got the kids are like, Mommy, what just happened? <laughs> Cars goes dark. But yeah, it was, just, it was a kind of story. It was basically like Lightning McQueen kind of coming around full circle to back to the first film, where obviously he was like the young hotshot taking over from the old legend. He had then become the old legend by three, and then this young dickhead was coming up trying to beat him. I watched Cars 3 on a British Airways plane to and from Hong Kong. That trailer did shock me. Yeah, it was really unexpectedly... I like the theme behind the third Cars movie. Is it something that affects... Yeah, it's a universal, it's a universal theme. I don't like that phrase. But um, yeah, you know, aging and not being as good as you used to be. Cars 3, it's f***ing dark. Uh oh. Uh oh. There you go. There you go. Coming up on Shoreland Station. But yeah, in the first, the, 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 like, the, the reason why I mentioned Wallace and Gromit is Lightning and coming to Cruz Maria is what Doc was to. Exactly, right? They kind of flipped it on its head. I appreciate that. I was like, that's a good way to... That's interesting. Have you not actually seen it then, AJ, if you say it sounds interesting? No, because I don't watch films. I also, I also want to buy the SRX game, but it's f***ing £42. It's f***ing £42. Um, you're right, <laughs> Lee Evans. Um, is it a new SRX game or the original one? There's no excuse for it to be 42 quid a year after release. There's no way. But yeah, um, the whole thing in cars with the, the pit stop that makes me just like <laughs> myself laughing, <laughs> urinates myself laughing. It's the same kind of humor that tickles me in uh, Wallace and Gromit, the first Wallace and Gromit when they build the spaceship. It's, do you remember they're in the basement building the spaceship and all that, the rocket ship? And uh, just as they're about to light the fuse, there's those rats that are in the corner, sort of hiding in the corner, just watching what they're doing. And then when they go to take off, they're like, brace, grommet! And then lighting up and it's all really bright and it just cuts to all the rats in the corner. It's like, and they all, in perfect sync, all just go, and whip out sunglasses. <laughs> they're all just like, <laughs> all just whip out their shades, all at the same time and it's perfect. It's 
absolutely perfectly choreographed. Like, that was the point where we should have realized that Nick Park was a genius at this shit. At this, you know? Nick Park is undefeated. Aardman are undefeated. Oh, Maxwell Park, platform one. Uh, come on, here we go, here we go. 500, 400. Going 300 yards this time. 300 yards. Got going downhill, this will be tense. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And break. Three to one break. Even the two Tony Stewart games are cheaper. Still miss you, Peter Sally. Always, always. Rest in power, Peter. The original voice of Wallace. I like that they've kind of been training up a replacement for him for age, because obviously Peter Salas was getting quite old. Well, very old, actually. He was getting on a bit. So he couldn't do all of the voice acting commitments they wanted, like doing like commercials or little short skits. They were already training a new a new guy. Well, I'm going to bed later, y'all. See you later, Black and Mild. It's lovely to see you. bollocks. I've missed the... I've missed the... How's that happened? <laughs> so I was saying goodnight to Black and Mild. I missed the stop. Well, I didn't. It's fine. Anyway, yeah, see you later, Black and Mild. Lovely to see you in here. You know I love your company in here. I think Ben Whitehead does a good job voice. Yeah, he's the guy that they've been like training up uh, to, to be the new voice of Wallace. They kind of had him doing like little skits and that when Peter Salas, they, they didn't fancy getting Peter Salas in just for some like little skit, you know? Um, <clears throat> so he's doing quite well. I think with time, you'll be able to get used to like, if there's a new film that comes out or an extended thing with him as the Wallace and Gromit with the Wallace voice, um, I think about 10 minutes in, you'll be like, yeah, this is Wallace. We're good. But yeah, it's that bit in the first Wallace. <laughs> the rats all like, <laughs> the perfect sunglasses. Like I say, it's the exact same thing in uh, in Cars when Luigi does the, 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 the really fast pit stop and it cuts the chick hicks his crew and they've all got the moustaches. And then it's like, ping, <laughs> and all their moustaches fall off. <laughs> All at the same time. You can see how much I'm giggling. Just remembering it. All right. Can we accelerate up to 40 miles an hour and then slow down again? I don't know how Wallace and Gromit convinced me a penguin was a supervillain. Look, listen, right? That's the genius of Ardman. That's the genius of Ardman's writing. All right, 40 miles an hour. And now we slow down again. Eventually, come on. Come on. Now. Oh, God. Oh, God. We need to slow down a lot before then, but never mind. It's fine. Nobody knows that. We're cool. The Ardman short stage fright. I don't, actually. I do not. And I've seen a lot of Ardman stuff. I've seen a lot of the Ardman shorts, like, flipping all the skits. They did, like, a whole set of skits where it was, like, the Cracking Contraption series, where Wallace was get inventing mad stuff. Uh. Like, the, um... Uh, it was some sort of like, uh, it was like a robot that served them breakfast. It was like the Robo Chef 420 or something. <laughs> I just remember it coming out. It, it was like a sort of Dalek with like a frying pan on his head. And he was like, beep, 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 top of the morning. Yum, 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 yum. Scrambled eggs, eh, lad? <laughs> obviously it went wrong. It just like yeeted the scrambled eggs at Gromit's face. And then if I remember rightly, it kind of went berserk and it kind of went... <laughs> It was like, eh, eh, yes, Preston's got it. It was like, eh, eh, something for the, eh, 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 and, it was, and it just suddenly went, knickers. <laughs> <laughs> Again, brilliant. Oh, perfect. May I have your attention, no, you may not have my attention. And Zoe. <laughs> not that one. Yeah, just the, e e e e knickers. <laughs> Again. Again. But Perfect. As Toby Brown would say, what did you call me? <laughs> Aha! Our next stop is our final one. Glasgow Central Platform 3. Don't forget the soccer mat. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was another good one. They're all good. Like, the soccer mat is a great one. Uh, what was the one? It was it was basically an old woman shopping trolley. Like, you know, the trolley bag thing that old women have. The, the old people have, like, this sort of shopping bag on wheels. It was one of those, but, like, radio controlled. 
they, they basically controlled it. Shopper 13, that's it. It was like sort of like a wheelie chopper thing. And um, they controlled it like a flipping spaceship. And they were like, you can go and retrieve cheese from us from the store. I was actually like, yes, I want this to work. I don't want to have to... And then Sean the Sheep eats the cheese. Yes! I, lo I love that Sean the Sheep has got his own like complete universe now. Like he spun off as like the unexpected star of um, A Close Shave, the third Wallace and Gromit um, film, short thing, whatever. Um, he was like the unexpected star of that film, so they ended up giving him a push. <laughs> he was pushed as the new top babyface of the Ardman Animations universe. <laughs> they gave him a babyface push, even though he literally can't speak. You know, if he was in the WWE, he'd have been hopeless. Vincent Mann would be like, I can't even talk! This is a rubbish promo! I can't have everyone there on me Monday Night Raw. Just him buying into the microphone and eating it for half an hour. That's why you're going to be arrested, Vince. Anyway, maybe Triple H would be like, no, no, he doesn't have to speak. He's a badass. He's a sheep. He's a badass sheep. Sean's just sat there like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you ever just get those moments where you just stop and go, where, where, where's my brain gone? Where? Where about, where has my brain gone on this adventure? It's gone on an adventure. I don't, I don't know where to. Meanwhile, Wallace and his trousers be running up that road, running up the... <laughs> now there's a TikTok meme waiting to happen, if it hasn't already. With the revival of Kate Bush's running up that hill, thanks Stranger Things. Um, any 80s artist who are suddenly getting number ones again, it's like, thanks Stranger Things. Metallica are like, cheers, Stranger Things. Kate Bush like, cheers, Stranger Things. Um, yeah, there's a meme that needs to happen. Just cutting Wallace in the wrong trousers, being like, Drum it! I don't want to be running up that hill! Running up that road! Running up that building! Drum is just like, I don't understand. I don't even like Kate Bush. Ads! <laughs> well, we're only slowly trundling into uh, Glasgow Central. <laughs> Will the ad break finish before we arrive in Glasgow Central? Fuck. <laughs> affordable. Place your bets, people. Banzai! The annoying as f Twitch commercial break challenge. What adverts will they get? For the 55th time this hour, and will they come back to the stream before we pull up in Glasgow Central? Indicate when you're off the ad break. Well, care as well. Drum roll. Well, we're trundling in. Trundling in. Hey, Nick's back. That was Audible, Coke Zero, and Apple TV. Hey, okay, you're back. We were taking bets on whether the ad break would end before I managed to get the train into Glasgow Central. Fortunately, it did. I always wonder what the maximum length of ad break you can set in Ad Manager is. 25 ads. I'm watching a stream. He streams for six hours a day. It's great. How much of the stream do you actually w watch, though? Um, three. What, are you busy for the other three? No, the, the other three hours is commercials. Trying to sell me shit I don't want, need, or can't afford. And, uh, ain't that the biggest mood? Ain't that not the biggest mood? Right, okay, here we go. Come on. A cost of living... <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? On. On train. On train. There you go. Spot on. That's how we do it. My sainted mother watched a shopping channel. Effectively, 24 hours of product ad. They can be brilliant, though. Like, my parents and I, my tipsy parents and I, one night stumbled on, like, the ad channel section of the TV guide, including, like, QVC and all that. But, like, the dodgy sub-QVC sub knockoffs. Some of it is wild, man. It's like sub-JML, you know, like, the JML outside window cleaning kit. But wait, there's more. You also receive a fine pube trimming kit. Or some nonsense like that. Hey, 
right, anyway, that's the route done, isn't it? Should be. Yes. There we go. The stopping wasn't quite... But he's still got a gold medal. You see? Speed is important. Speed is everything, right? But ironically, that's how I got into country music. <laughs> what, are they trying to sell you, like, the 50 greatest country hits CD or something? Order now and pick up all these classic hits. Speed is key. All right, well, to finish off, we have some other services to pick from, including a freight-based one. One. It's 16 minutes long. It's an engineering work service bound for Carlisle from Newton to Glasgow. Aha, we'll run the 37 as the three main event then. 4.35 in the morning. Now, there's very... That's not even... That's like bronze hour. Platinum. That's like... <laughs> iron hour. It is actually partially sunny. So this is Newton, where we just started the last service from. Uh, headlights. Daytime. Yes. Right. Let's get this thing set up. Reverse a master key. Reverse a... Forwards, uh, brakes. Where are they? Lease. There we go. Hear the air coming out of the brakes now. Hopefully. Yes, there we go. Release, release. I never like the brakes on a '66 because they take so long to like do anything. Okay, so brakes are off. Should we uh, give this a go? Rumbling sound. There's another 66 on the other end. It's top and tailed. Four. I don't think this one's doing anything though. You can tell this logo is a bit dated now because it's not had the sound updates of like the class 314. It's just like. It's just class 66 horn dot wav. <laughs> anyway, we are underway. Throttle also, the, it doesn't quite go up to 11, but it does go up to eight. Oh, and the rumbling. Power. Power. Oh, we've got a, we've got a, a, a co-pilot for this one. All right, Miranda. Don't baby. I'm trying not to. There you go. Yeah, this this 66 on the back is just like... Uh, you can do all the hard work up the front. I'm having a rest. I'm having a nap. I'm bringing this train back the other way anyway. Yeah, whatever. All right, 25 miles an hour, 26. The speed limit here is 40, dead weight on the back. Yeah, it is. It's just to make the thrash more impressive, you know? To carry more of a load. Oh, meantime. Yes, there you go, open the windows. Excuse me, Miranda, do you mind if I open that window? Yep, there we go. Nice. Oh, yes. We get wheel spin there. Wheel spin at 35 miles an hour. Oh, we are going uphill slightly. Quite a bit of gradient, so... Oh, would you look at that! The first light of dawn glinting on the corrugated sides of our grumbly ying-ying-ying-yang boy. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Four miles an hour still, we're settling at this speed. It's oh. a nice view. And a very good sound. Oh, the sun coming through the oh look at that! That's brilliant! Oh, I love that. 
yes, and into a tunnel. Oh, the rumble. There's even more rumbling now. The rumbling is real. Oh, the cab lights are on as well. Well, the, the east lights are on anyway. Didn't they say this train came up from Carlisle? No, it's heading to Carlisle, I believe. It's on its way to Carlisle, I think. Although, wait a minute. Does that mean everything we've been playing so far is a lie? <laughs> I've been saying we've been heading southbound to Neilston and that. Does that actually mean they could... Brain's falling out. That happens. Anyway. Morning! Good morning, Vietnam. I mean, Glasgow. To Carlisle by Glasgow. Yeah, there you go. Now we're getting up to 40 miles an hour. Radiant's leveling out a bit. It's electrified, why not use an 88 or a 92? Nick, it's also an engineering train. So it may well be that they have to cut off the power wherever the work is going, so. Central is usually southbound, Queen Street is northbound. Oh, okay, so, so it is right. So, Glasgow Central is southbound. Wait a minute, so, does that mean the train's going out of Glasgow Central, go southbound, right? It would make sense, because all the maps we've shown so far, like, the maps are normally positioned so you, you're looking at, as it faces north. Right, there we go, okay. So this is coming up, going into Glasgow Central, and then probably reversing out again, hence the local on the back, not you. Um, Spool down the enormous engines for a moment, give them a rest, We're going downhill as well, so. Should we uh, should have a little bit of break? A little bit of break. There you go. Now you release the brakes again. Yes, you see. There we go. Oh, hello. Good oh, morning. Yeah. It's usually how it's always safe to go to. If you head to England, you go by Central to Edinburgh and up North Queen Street. Yes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right, we've got to slow down to 25 in a mile and a half, and um, for as much as I slagged off the 314's brakes, this is two big, heavy diesel boys with a lot of heavy wagons behind them, so I'm not taking any chance on this one. And we release it again, so... Plants here. <laughs> Yeah, we're on a downhill gradient as well anyway, so we can coast. Lift and coast, innit? I'm like fuel saving stuff. I'm just watching the speedo now creep back up again. Right, so it's probably the other side of the station. Oh, the light though. I have always said the lighting in the Train Sim World Games is one of its best features. And it has only got better as they've improved everything about the game in general. They tinkered with the game in general. The lighting is in general only got better, so. Now we're going uphill though, so and now we're leveled out, so now we're going downhill a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's screenshot material right there. Absolutely. Oh. Right. Yeah, 
right now we uh, now we've got the brakes on. Just put a little bit of brake pressure on. Nine, eight, seven, six, only five. Release the brakes again. Good to go. Yeah, it's all based on air brakes, these uh, locos. They're not the easiest to control, but you kind of get the hang of it after a while. Let's grab from the bridge arches there. Under the bridge downtown is where I blew it up, etc. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. There we go, I was checking they were fully released, which they are. Twenty-five miles an hour, you say? Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> That's the exact speed I'm currently doing. We can do 30 again in a moment. The good thing about a freight run like this is that you're not as stringent on the timetable. I mean, look, we've not got any expected time of arrival into Glasgow and Queen, uh, Glasgow Central. Oh, we're going down here. Well, this is quite a steep uh, incline. Well, it looks like one, certainly. Speed's going up to 30, well, supposed to. It hasn't yet. And it's soon going to go down again to 20, so I'm actually going to pop the brakes on. This train threatens to stop running away. Run away, try! There we go. Ah. Yeah. Release the brake, release the brake, release the brake, release the brake. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Handling this rather well. Ah, now we're going back uphill again. I need to give it some, uh, some, some actual power. We've just been coasting on that massive accept burst acceleration out of Newton earlier. Give me kind of Angus D. Wolf branch like vibes. Sort of. I'm turning for the night, chaps. Always a pleasure being here, even if late. No worries, ma'am. No worries. Oh, it's suddenly quite a steep climb. Come on, come on. So the brakes fully off. Come on, heave. Heave. There we go. Need time, this loco on the back, like, what, do you want some help with that? No, no, I've got it under control. You know, it's fine. It's fine, I got this, you know. Sorry, you've been learned. No, no way. No need to apologize, Paula. Everyone's welcome to, you know, just hang out in the chat, hang out in the stream as much as they want. There's no minimum amount of, like, talking you have to do. Hope you've been doing all right. Been up to anything interesting. Speed limit's coming to 30 miles an hour in 550-ish yards, so we're still climbing up to 30 miles an hour. Oh, by the way. Morning! Morning, my folks! We out here! Everybody out here at quarter five in the morning, make some noise! You know what I'm saying about doing 30 miles now? Yeah, we are kind of doing that now. Give me a little bit of braking. Uh, yep, no, that's fine. Okay. Yep. Nope. Another tearing me out. Beep, beep. 
Beep, beep, mother, mother truckers. Beep, 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 beep. Top of the morning. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. That's the flipping uh, kitchen, the uh, robo chef thing from Wallace Grow we were talking about. <laughs> Knickers. <laughs> All right, running through. Anybody here getting up for work at four to five in the morning makes noise. And everyone's like, shut up. We don't want to be awake at this time of morning either. Gonna go actually, gonna go actually going out for food. Ooh, what food are you going out to have? I hope it's lovely. And um, thank you for hanging out with us as usual today. Always a pleasure. You know that. Well, food. <laughs> Any food, it's specific food. Our local McDonald's has run out of beef. My God. It's like the night there was nearly riots when KFC ran out of chicken. Ran out of Chex Notes chicken. The one thing you'd think they'd have in abundance for, for moments like this. This 66 is really uh, interfering with the fabric of reality. Oh, yes, that's a lovely shot, though. Oh. I know that they put the price up for beef based products, but Jesus Christ! It's only for that. Well, you can tell we've kind of looped round on ourselves because now the sun's facing us. Donald's put the price up of my favourite stuff by 20p. And now they can't afford beef or something. Oops. Well, we're going up a slight uphill gradient. You know, you want to slow down a little bit. No, you want to slow down a little bit. No, you want to slow down a little bit. quite differently to a lot of other uh, brake system. I'm also paying close attention because quick stops on a train like this ain't exactly possible. They weren't really possible on a class 314 and they were supposed to be, let alone on a train like this. Do you think this is built with quick stopping in mind? Press X to down. Even though we already got spanned here once. Still green. Okay, good. Still green. They've not thrown the they've not thrown the yellow yet. Oh. Steady, come on. Go via location. Come on. There you go. Break. Location, Glasgow Central Platform 2, McNeil. Right, that's a yellow signal. Yellow signal. Yellow signal. Just nervous moments. 
everything could be made or broken right here. I think looking at the time, by the way, this will be the stream main event. Yep, still yellow signals. I think we're good into the platform now. Once we get here, it's like, yeah, your platform, this is the signal for your platform itself. Yep. All right, here we go. Trundling in. Early morning over the River Clyde. It's a lovely scene. It's a romantic scene. Rumbling to Glasgow Central. Weaving in across the tracks. Posting in right on 15 miles an hour. There we go. Right. Brakes on. <laughs> Maybe it's still be too early. Yeah, it was actually. Ah, don't matter. It counts. There we go. Lovely. Stop accuracy, what not what it could have been, but we've got a gold medal anyway. Doesn't matter. We are out of here. Return to free roam. Jet complete. And um, yeah. Alright. See you later. Let me know how it goes down in Carlisle. Oh, hang on. There's the, the, the... Ow. There we go. Yes. Look at that. Look at that magnificent machine. Mighty machine. Very nice. Actually, do you know what? Do you know what I think we're going to do to finish? Is... Firstly, let's go up here. Let's get wagons. Get wagons. JNA that those, yep, echoing of the loco noises in the train shed though, that's lovely, really well done. Firstly what we're going to do is admire our train in an empty Glasgow Central, there's nothing going on here, not surprising at this time of the morning, five in the morning, <sighs> nobody's awake at that time, that's why we're here, firstly, flowers, about to pitch flowers in it's it's flower train. Flower train. Look at it there. So, this is Moya. Glasgow Central. Look at that. That is lovely. I've seen more life in a graveyard. <laughs> right. So to finish, let's have a quick look, shall we? In uh the uh creator club. Let's see what people have done with uh right now, you find it yeah, just the main uh, switch route, create a club, uh, search. Okay, there's no uh, way to just find, like, for a specific route. Ice group, there you go, the, uh, the, the real island line livery. There we go, morning rain. First Great Western HST Eastbourne to Brighton. No, that was a thing. High speed, London Paddington, the Bristol Temple Meads, one down. Uh, Ryan Brewer, Lubeck, HST to Paddington, FGWHT to Redka Central, intriguing. Brighton to Victoria, 465, Southeastern High Speed Rail Tour, Plymouth to Penzance, Bodden, nice, I like the look of that. Victoria to Brighton, I'm not seeing many for uh, for Glasgow. Doesn't look like there's much going on up here. Southeast and diversion. Replacement. Steaming to Leeds. Football madness. Harrow and back. We mean green. What's that one? We mean green simulated timetable. Okay, good. It's not really informative, but <laughs> and really tell me much. Okay. Yeah, do you know what? I don't think there's much going on here. So, to finish off, we won't do the full run. I will just finish the stream with it. it where's it gone? Here we go. Is... I said we'd do a bit of a rail tour. So, uh, that's exactly what you're going to get. 
let's all be honest with each other here. This is what we want. This is what we need. A rail freight metals past 37.5. A, a rumbly boy of the highest order. A Nielsen to Ne... Ooh! Drive the rail to the service originating a bonus from Glasgow to Nielsen. Now, that's interesting. This actually uses a bit of track that... Ah! This actually uses a bit of track that it wouldn't normally... Like, it uses that little triangular bit of track. We've gone down the main bit already. This bit. And we've used this bit. We've used that bit down there. We've not used this bit here. That's rather interesting. All right, let's do that. Stream main event out here. Let's do it. Oh, it's also a trader. <clears throat> yep. Okay. All right. It's time for the main event. It, oh, look at this. There's another... It's three coaches and there's another local on the other end. My... Hang on. What is... What is this? Oh, oh, oh. Firstly, ignore me going all weak at the knees and spaffing you. Oh, the, the spaff. The levels of spaff that are happening right now. Oh, just outright. It's just too much. I, I can't cope. Eh, let me in. Let me in. Let me... There we go. <laughs> right. Damn it, Asia. I have to clean up again. Sorry. Also, I'm trying to remember how bloody hell to drive this thing. Aha! Master key on. Yes, good. Forwards. Yep. Uh, what about the headlights? Yes, those. Ads. Oh, God. Yes, there we go. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Hang on. Right angle. Yes. There you go. Wait until 14.02. All right, gladly. I'm like pouring at the screen. Oh, the old Mark II coaches as well. So it's a three-coach train. Spaffed in central. And there's a 47 on the back as well. 47.472. That would presumably explain why it wants to reverse when we go down the Nielsen line. And then we go the other way. To, no, the Newton run. Then we go back to Nielsen. That's what it wants us to do. So we'll drive the first bit. Audible and Coke Zero doing that ad break. I like the fact you're all reporting what ads you're getting. Now there, there's a, yes, there's a thumbnail for the bot. I'll be depot back there, that's the Thornhill depot. Uh, Kingfisher was their logo, their emblem. Right, lock the doors, lock the right side doors. Windows open, it's a sunny day, we're gonna need this. Go via location, all right, all right. Here we go, are we ready for this? Let's bring the noise. Hang on. Hang on, come on. There we go. There we go. It's moving slowly. What was the Haymarket or Craig continue the emblem? I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, I know some of them off the top of my head. I know Eastley was a Spitfire. So that's where they built the Spitfire aircraft in, in the war. Uh, here the green is the Batsy Power Station. No. Here the green is the Oast Houses in Kent. Um, Stewart's Lane was the Battersea Power Station. Uh, St. Blasey in Devon is a lizard. Uh, I think Plymouth was like a galleon ship. But in the meantime, uh, there's noise happening. There's noise, there's rumbles happening. rumbling happening. There's rumbling over the Clyde. We're rumbling over the Clyde. St. Blazes. Oh, okay. West Country. You know, 
Almost the same place. We are rumbling over the Clyde. Look at this. This is just an absolute, it's an absolutely magnificent, it's just a magnificent thing. It's just an absolutely brilliant, wonderful thing. Fire location, Glasgow Central, line one. <laughs> Caller on line one. Caller on line one, how can I help you? <laughs> Thank you for your message, bye. Go via location, Pollock Shields East Platform 2. All right, Will. Some rumbling might have to happen though, because I need to, I, I just need to speed up a tiny bit, you know? I just, I just really need to. Need Edinburgh Glasgow with a 47 and DBSO. Amen. Amen. We're going to need that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Limited rumbling. Limited rumbling for now. Just enough. Meantime, has the 47 vibing in the back. It's just ticking over. Well, this is no work. As, as we all know from our experience with 37s on the wary lines, this this is not hard work for a th three coaches is nothing for a 37, let alone two of them. Whoever the mad lad was that signed off on the wary line short sets, having three coaches and a 37 at either end, I want to kiss them. I could not love them more. That's 3,500 horsepower. For a three coach train. That's like supercharging your wheelchair. That's like supercharging a, a mobility scooter. It's just excessive. It's just a vulgar display of power. They do in space. I do. I do. I want to make love with these. No, I don't. Not quite. That would be weird. <laughs> AJ, that would be weird. We're on level ground. We're still only going 25, but once we get out of the inner sanctum, the inner sanctum of Glasgow, we're on it. Need a bit of train break just because we're going downhill a tiny bit. Tiny bit. We can speed up. Hashtag AJ make it second. <coughs> oh, what's that? The speed limit's going up to 40 miles an hour in a minute. Oh, what's that? We're going through Pollock Shields East. <coughs> Afternoon. We are making your day by blessing you all with our presence. You are now in the presence of greatness. You're in the presence of rumbles. And uh, yeah, we can speed up a bit now. Should we do that? <laughs> Flat slating it. I'm making all sorts of weird noises right now in excitement. Excited 37 noises. To be fair, the HST short sets are excessive power for four coaches, and I love them too. I love the fact that they exist as well. The absolute rumbling through the city. Oh, steady on. Oh, the base! The base! Shaking the windows. Shaking the glass out of the windows in that office block just went by. Because people are working in their office and the, the glass on their desk are like stuff falling off their desk. 
it's an earthquake. There's never been an earthquake forecast in, in Glasgow before. There is now. Give it Max, go on, give it Max, give it Max. Slow down a bit. <laughs> Speeding a bit. Morning, Cathcart. No, afternoon, I mean. Oh, that wasn't Cathcart Station. It was A and other station. For turbo star base, we had 37. Heck yes. Heck yes. What's that speed going back up? Speed's going up even more, you say? Oh, you better give us some power then. stream because we are about to get booted off of Twitch for NSFW content. This is absolutely going to get us booted off of Twitch. There's no way this can be allowed. Think of the children. Think of the children. Going over an A road. It's a road. So we're going right here. There we go. Let's see here. Oh, we've got to slow down to 20. Oh no, we have to slow down. That means we have to accelerate again? Oh no. Anyway. Going via location Cathcart. Now I wonder when the reversal is going to happen. Whereabouts the reversal will happen? It's a road. It's a water. <laughs> right. Stop at location Neilston Platform Two. Fourteen twenty-one. Hang on. A Wait a minute. Are we just going via Neilston? the left now. Okay, where's the map? No, that's a static camera. And, ah! There we go. That's not it. I think we're looping around without reversing. You might be right. Where's the map? Oh, we're there. Yeah, we're just going straight through there. Okay, fine. Works for me. Especially when the speed limit has just gone up to 50 miles an hour. I guess we should do 50 miles an hour then. <laughs> Top 10 sounds will never, ever, ever get tired of in your life for as long as you live.
not going the right way. Okay. Okay. Need time. Afternoon. is just on the back for the moment for dead weight. It's just something for us to carry to make the thrash even more epic. And then the same thing will happen going the other way, presumably. On this Glasgow Cathcart Circle short set. You've heard of the Weary Line short set, now we have the Cathcart Circle short set. Central Glasgow underscore trains on TikTok or something. Just filming that one on his iPhone. What the? What the? Where the hell was the HUD gone? Where the? Where the HUD gone? Um. Where the, where's the HUD? Um. Screen. Hard. Uh. It's a control guide. Um. With the hard. I've hit a button and turned off the hard. Um. How do we turn it back on again? Help. Camera? Does, it, does, does that? No. Turntable. Locomotive. Uh, power. Power. Couple. There's. There's a chair. Did. Nim. Nim, nim, nim. Um. Like. That's right. On. On. Uh. I don't know. Um. Well, how hard can it be? Not that. Oh, there we go. It's F1. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen, learn. It's F1. There you go. Ooh, we can speed up a bit more. In a minute. In a minute, I'm going to need a... 
cinnamon or 37. <laughs> Bump me up. Feeling rumbly. <laughs> Feeling rumbly. Meantime, once again, putting on a show for the spotters. The lean for the station as well. Lean. About 75% profit will do the job to keep us at 50. 50! We've got three minutes. It's about three minutes to go 3.2 miles. And we're about to go 55. Like I said, we're paying for time and it's running out. Clearly the battle of Britain. <laughs> it's not. No, it's not. Come on. Let me do five more miles an hour than I'm already allowed to do. Those five miles an hour will make all the difference. I know they will. Oh. What a shot. Oh, what a view. What a view. Everything about this. No, oh, everything about this is just beautiful. It's like the James Blunt song up in here. But sounds far better, to be honest. I shouldn't really say that, James Blunt will roast me on Twitter. Actually, I'm not on Twitter anymore, so hey, I'm fine. <laughs> 55, come on, 55. 2.4 miles. 55, <laughs> it's on the, <laughs> does it want to be 54 or 55 miles an hour? I can't decide. slow down in a minute, do we? Oh, well, fortunately, that's after the station we're stopping at, so. It's a rain tour. Are you about to say it's not supposed to be running on time? Yeah. There's no lies detected there. Who cares if it's... Like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, no, it's running late. That means we have to spend more time behind this gorgeous old locomotive. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh no! Anyway. Oh, so Ubley Hall. <laughs> Is it Ubley Hall? Oh yeah, the little place on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The little place on the flipping... Uh, Roswalks. Wait, 40 minutes to... Yeah. Just when the weather, in the middle of summer, decided to get all wintry and horrible. But it was worth it, yeah. Oh, so there's a ye yellow, ah, yellow signal coming up. It was, yeah. <laughs> I started grumbling about how I was freezing my tits off, and this old old lad right next to me on the bridge was like, here you go, mate, have some of this. He had a thermos flask full of tea. I was like, yeah, you absolute hero. You are the absolute MVP. Okay, here we go. We're on the approach. On the approach to Mealston Station. Wait, where was my... You were still down on the platform. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, let's, let's put the brakes on. Yeah, let's put the brakes on. Let's not spend our last stop of the uh, entire stream. You were on guard too. Yeah, you were looking after my camera back. And doing a very good job of it. 
Ah, there's a train in the platform on the other side. All the plebs are going to get to see a, a, a pool train. A rumbly boy. Ah, let's just slow down and make a nice sort of smooth entrance into Newston. Sorry, did I say smooth? I meant loud. I meant a very loud arrival. There you go. Unlock the doors. I can do that. Smooth operator. I am for once. It's not normally my strong suit. And out the cab. Hey, look at that. Everyone's popping off for, I don't know, cream teas for lunch or something. I don't know, is it is Neilston known for it? Probably a pub or something. Oh, I see. Fish and chips, yeah, ain't it? <laughs> so I can just hear someone shouting in the background. by the way. I was wondering where those shouts and that were coming from. There's some whistles and that. I think even though they've not modelled anyone playing football on these football fields, they've modelled the sounds of games of football being played. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. That's quite clever. Again, nice little detail that they didn't have to add. They did, and I like that. Stop at location, Nielsen Headshot. Hang on, there's more? Oh, hang on a minute. Neilston headshot. Okay. Right, where's that then? Oh, it's through here. Uh, but it's, it's a red signal. You know, I regret to inform you, it, it is a red signal and I'm not going through that. Hang on. Uh, denied! Wait for the signal to change. Alright, I will. Uh, let's, let's go back to watching the game over there. Bravey Davy McNeil's <laughs> five-a-side team. He's doing the business over there on the rec, on the recreation ground. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I did. Does it want me to move forward a bit? Partick FC. <laughs> that thing where it's like come right up to close to the signal got to tap out because i got a college class catch you later folks we're nearly done anyways thank you so much for your company today preston as always it's a pleasure how are you in here right i'm gonna stop here i don't want to actually spad in the meantime well if you're gonna faff around then, um, then, you know, I'm not going to... I'm just going to go over here and watch the football. The ghost football game that's happening. <laughs> I like that they've added that. If they couldn't add actual, like, people playing football, then, you know, at least add the sounds of it and stuff. That's quite nice. I like that. And they're probably getting distracted. Dolly's probably getting distracted at this end by the, the Grand Prix 37. Like, Whoa, what's that train over there? What's that train over there? Now, I'm not missing anything here, am I? That's not like red signal, but you're okay to shunt through sort of thing, is it? I mean, it's still showing as a red signal when I'm in the cab, so... I'm not chanting it. The game's trying to bait me like I'm a scam. It's trying to bait, bait me like I'm a scam. Maybe it's taking a load of footy sports. There may be. <laughs> yeah, they've all just got off the train. It's actually all the people on the rail tour have just jumped off the train and gone over to have a kickabout. Either way, I don't mind. No ground signal? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, 
can't see any. Also, is there still... Hang on. Huh, maybe that train's delaying things. Train down there. No, it's on. Okay. Well, this is where I was going to... Uh, just uh, oh, plant some flowers here. Hey, flower train! Flower power train! Right, you! When are you sodding off? 1429, okay, so a couple of minutes. No! I'm just finding things to do. I can't do anything with it yet. I'm gonna slap off a map over here. A bit of map a slap. Aha, there's a footbridge to do. Aha! I spy a poster! Slorp! There we go. Slorp! This little thing underneath the signal is. Yeah. Thank you. Oh no. Oh no. Aha! Newspapers. And then down here, another plant train. Another flower train. There we go. There we go. Right. Let's see if this changes anything. Nice show, actually. This is about to leave at 1429. So I wonder if this leaving will affect the signal on our end of the platform. Nice photos, I've got to say. They've got the green signal there. They're leaving at 20, 40, 29. So 20 seconds. Add! <laughs> Don't worry, here, you shouldn't miss anything unless you were particularly invested in watching the departure of this Scott Rail EMU. It's a network rail signal. The lazy f are the best of <laughs> off with you. Sort off ads. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please drive a car on the road bridge. Are you gonna are you gonna actually go or what? <laughs> Audible, Apple TV and GTA online. Nope, still red down that end. Are you gonna the I hear beeping. It's finally going to sod off now. I don't know if it will change things at our end of the platform, but it might. Right, off you go. Be gone with you. Be gone, thought, etc. Right, running. It's not changed anything. It's made no difference. <laughs> it's made no difference. You know what? It's gonna be a rebel. Let's see. Might be some sort of glitch that it's not showing the ground signal. There's only one way to find out. You all saw this, right? If I get spanded for this, I'll contact Signal again. Shit the burgers. Shit the burgers. Denied. I am denied once more. I shall not be denied again. Onwards to the head shunt. Here we go. Here we go, what's this? 
You all witnessed this. <laughs> Look, you all witnessed this, right? <laughs> Listen, it was worth a try. We could have been here for the rest of the day otherwise. Anyway, right, well, that will do. That will do for today's shenanigans. And, uh, well, it's been a fun time. It's all right, it's been black with this. It's an absolute DGG I know, right? What does it say on the, uh, sign thing? 1435 terminates here. Well, that's the next, like, normal passenger train. Anyway, never mind. That matters to me. We're just gonna go off and vibe now. <laughs> Hang on. Stop a location. What if it's me running down there? <laughs> no, I can't be asked. I'm going over here now. I'm off to play some football. <laughs> Which is is uh, coming home. It's official. It's confirmed. <laughs> Hang on. I'm, I'm saying that in Scotland. That's that's not gonna go down well. Uh, maybe we should be leaving now. Anyway, let's survey the scene, shall we? At Neilston Station. It's been a very fun time out here today, and um, thank you all for coming along with me for the ride. You know it's always fun. That'll be uh, the tenth stream. You said what? I didn't. Nobody. No, I didn't say a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, excuse me. Um. Oh. Whoa. Oh God. Whew. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, but. That was a very fun stream. Thank you all for joining in as usual. The 10th tea and train stream since I started it like flipping year ago or whatever it was. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I was like when the Sidemen did the England chant outside the Scottish football stadium. So they want to be killed. They're like mans from um, the, the Top Gear America special. <laughs> all right, so Resi streaming uh, a game. I can't tell what it is. But I think we've seen who we're going to raid. We're going to raid the fabulous Shack Attack. She's brilliant. We're going to go hack a Shack. Uh, she's playing some Dead by Daylight. And uh, she's lovely. She's brilliant. She's fantastic. She's a uh, neurodivergent, bisexual streamer like me, part of the neurodivergence. And um, hopefully, check. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Um, I'm going to call it there, guys. Thank oh, she's ending. Know, God damn know. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally about to raid. God damn it. Never mind. Right, we are going to. We're off to raid Resi after all, then. Right. There we go. Let's go off and raid our buddy Resi. He is a fabulous human being. I'm not, I'm not actually sure what he's playing right now. Bye. Have a nice Oh, hello, Railjet. You've been in here the whole time. I think I saw your message at the, uh, the start of the stream. If you've just been lurking here, that's absolutely fine. Hope you've had a fun time in here. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go over and visit our buddy uh, Rezzy. He's playing Distance. Um, which seems to be some sort of cyberpunk uh, Tron-style arcade racing game. So uh, that seemed quite interesting. And, yeah, we're going to pop over there, go hang out. He's a lovely dude. Deserves your love as well. I'm going to get on with some bits and bobs this evening. And then I will see you next on Twitch on Saturday for some driving of some kind. It'll be some combination of Gran Turismo 5, if my wheel's behaving itself, and or the Summer of Pro Street. Mm. We, are, we are going back. We are revisiting our nemesis, and we're bitch slapping it. We are, we are backhanding it once and for all. <sighs> Pray for me. Pray for me. I, 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 I don't know what I did to deserve this. I'm doing it to myself, and that's what really hurts. But anyway, I'll see you back here on Saturday afternoon. Meantime, have a lovely rest of your day. See you guys later.